All right, well, I think we're just gonna get right up into this. How we doing, everyone? Um, hopefully y'all doing pretty well. I know it's kind of late, and I apologize for that. Uh, I'm hoping this is just gonna be a short stream, so I can cover some of the shorter clips that don't have to be into a video. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. It is currently, what, 2.16 in the morning, so Demon Hours has officially started. Um, in 45 minutes, we'll have the Witching Hour, which is 3 a.m., at least if you're on the East Coast. If you're somewhere else, I, don't, I can't tell, but like for me, it'll be like the Witching Hour in 45 minutes. Which, if you're big into like believing in ghosts and stuff like that, supposedly that's when they're most active. I'm not that big a ghost believer, to be honest. But I'm getting distracted. So let's get started. Um, first, I wanted to get this. Uh, apparently, Snort Fennell is the only one who has this one clip. So oh. hopefully I can find it dead. in this Dark video. Because it's like, walking dead. they have like different, Guess they have happened. like, you know how Snort Fennell has like three different, three, four different topics in one video. So yeah, I just, just want the one section. So. so now within 24 hours of that poll being live, over 800 Let's get votes. Again, and see what's going. in one week we got 500 legit voters. Last week, now you're telling me in 24 hours we had over 800 votes. So these people are idiots. They're they're flooding there with bots and oh, shit, and they're, they're just idiots. ruining the poll because they're morons. Okay, so oh yeah, we got more paranoid this side time I said, here. And I just closed the poll. Not Next like week, my I'm fans would want something this like point. this. No. We're gonna try the Walking Dead. We're gonna see how it works. <laughs> no one wants the Walking Dead. Why would you think people would want that? I'm currently playing a game. I'm nine and a half hours into it. All right, and I don't know what to do with it. It's called Dragon's Dogma Two. Okay, I'm only playing Dragon's Dogma Two because you guys and gals requested it. Remember, because you lied to him. You told him you wanted to see him play it, and his fans probably did want to see him play it. But Phil, your fans telling you they want to watch you play a game does not mean that they have to give you money for you to play that game. There's a difference there, right? Your fans would want you to would want to see you play that game. That does not mean that they are obligated to pay you for playing that game because they want to see you play that. You do realize that, right? Originally, a few weeks ago, I said I was set on playing Rise of the Ronin. Okay? I said I want to play Rise of the Ronin. And everyone was like, well, you can play Rise of the Ronin, but we feel that Dr Dragon's Dogma 2 is going to be a better choice. Dragon's Dogma 2 looks like it might be a game of the year contender. Dragon's Dogma 2 is just going to get better, you know, more people. Nope. <laughs> it's going to get more viewership. Dragon's Dogma 2 is garbage. you should definitely play Dragon's Dogma 2. Okay? And I'm like, well, you know, by the way. And, like, as we're going to see here later on, like, he's still kind of grasping at straws on what he could play. So there's nothing stopping him from adding Rise of the Ronin now to his um game schedule. Right? Because, like, he's finishing up two major game playthroughs. That's opening up a lot of space in his, in his, uh, in his schedule. But what does he do? He plays Helldivers 2 for some reason. Um, and then he also has, he's also looking for a different game to add on to it. And he's probably going to be going back to Street Fighter in a, in a bit. So it's like, you could still play Rise of the Ronin, Phil. That, like, they, that's just because you, said you weren't going to play it or chose not to play it then doesn't mean you can't go back to it. Or, you know, you could go back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But God forbid he does that. Wait, now I'm just going to start banning people? Because you now you're just doing it on purpose? Banned, 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 banned. Gone. Forever. So I'm just going to start banning people now. I mean, go ahead. Keep bringing up Stellar Blade and see what happens. I've outright said no a million times. So every person who says it will just be banned. And I'm going to laugh. All right, I'm going to figure out where the hell this one is that I wanted to hear. If that's the case, okay. But then I got to be sure that everything like that would fall in nope. line with what you want. Money. But money, money, right money around here. brought up constantly. But is this going to be a pattern for this game? Is this going to be my late night chill stream game just like Like a Dragon where that's the case? If that's the case, okay. But then I got to be sure that everything else... I, I mean, literally, I got like one super chat all night. I think it was two memberships and like two tips. So it was like... Maybe ten dollars raised, and again, it's not always about that. This whole video, it's not about money. It's not about the money. Bullshit. But money, money, money gets brought up constantly. Mm. But 
is this going to be a pattern for this game? Is this going to be my late night chill stream game just like Like a Dragon where that's the case? If that's the case, okay. But then I got to be sure that everything else I'm doing is in line with what you want so that those streams do better. Okay? The way I see it is that we need to figure out what's going to be our game in the rotation that's an RPG. If it's going to be a late night chill stream, that's okay. If it means that it's going to have lower... I thought you said you weren't going to play any RPG from, like, for a long time, Phil. So if you... Uh, so dead set, I, oh, I proved... I proved, guys, that uh, RPGs are the thing that's bringing me low support. It's not me, myself, that's a boring fuck or anything like that. No, no, no. It's, it's RPGs. So if that's the case, why play any RPG right now? Or, hey, here's a wild idea. Bring back an RPG you're halfway through, like Sea of Stars or Final Fantasy VII or Divinity Original Sin 2 if you really want to get into it. You have f more than three. That's just three examples. But you have more than three games that are RPGs that you gave up on or wage quitted or whatever that you can go back to at any moment. But no, you want to pick out a different one. Not And least of all, you want to pick a... All right, Final Fantasy VI is a good game. Don't get me wrong. It's a really good RPG, but he just fucking played that game in, like, 2020. It's not that long ago that he fucking played that game, and he wants to play that game now? Now, I shouldn't be complaining. I shouldn't be complaining because technically here, he is threatening to play Final Fantasy VI, which is a game he actually likes, supposedly, but assuming he actually likes this game... I shouldn't be complaining because he is taking my advice because I told him and I'm sure other detractors have told him it's like if you like if you just play games you actually enjoyed if you played the actual games you enjoyed like and stopped worrying so much and just played games you liked it would feel more natural and it would be more approachable now it is Phil so that would be a little difficult but I can't fault him too much on wanting to play a game that he likes. Because, like, the logic is kind of there. It's like, well, if I'm going to play an RPG, and if, while playing that RPG, I'm not going to get any views, I might as well play an RPG that you like, that he likes. So he's admitting right now he doesn't like any of the RPGs that he's playing. So if you don't like Dragon's Dogma 2, just drop that one. And, like, yeah, I guess, even though you j literally just played Final Fantasy VI, a couple years ago, so why not play a different RPG that you also like that you haven't played in a long time? You know, it's like I don't know. Low support, That's but if he does, support. if he does play Final Fantasy VI, it's gonna be boring as fuck. Because every time he plays a um a Final Fantasy game, it's boring as fuck. Okay. But I can't do more than one at a time. But it, that's it will just never his work. streams in general are boring. With Baldur's Gate Dream like a dragon, it didn't work. All right. <clears throat> so basically. We have to have a game in the rotation that's going to work. Is it going to be Dragon's Dogma 2? Or do you want me to bring back Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? What's it going to be? I don't care. I'll play either game. I really will. I was liking Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I really was enjoying it. And then I stopped playing it. No, you weren't. You weren't enjoying it, Phil. To tears. I had an insanely low attendance for a daytime stream. Insanely. Everything was telling me stop. So I did. Okay? <clears throat> it would be great for someone to just dump an giant, huge load of money on the stream right now that would be amazing of course i'm not expecting that i'm just being silly yeah so the way i see it if we're going to keep an rpg in the rotation we have three options option number one continue with dragon's dogma 2 right hope for the best hope people will start to show up and engage and support the playthrough and if it doesn't i guess that's my late night chill stream right or we can suspend dragon's dogma 2 and we can go back to final fantasy 7 rebirth but if I do that, I want all of you people who have been screaming at me for the last month about not playing Rebirth to actually show up. You have to come. You understand? You have to show up when I play it. No, not I don't. Not scream about it. Say you want it. And then when I play it, the stream is dead. I Everyone's mean, it, like, it just makes more sense, like, as a completion standpoint, point of view. If you played Final Fantasy VII Remake, and you're halfway through Final Fantasy... Well, I don't even know if he is halfway through or not. But if he is into the game of final fantasy 7 rebirth you might as well fucking finish it but you over here saying you have to support you have to give me money if you're gonna like because that's what he's saying he's not saying oh show up and watch no 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 he's saying show up and tip 
Because God forbid you watch his content without giving him money. And like that. What a no greedy... one likes it. It's boring. Like, what's the point then? Because that's literally what the, the feedback that I was getting is this game sucks. It's boring. It's not as good as we thought it was going to be. And I was shocked because I thought for sure it was going to be a big event game. And that's the reaction I got. Okay. So we need more money. We need more money. That's what this stream is about. That's the question, right? What are we going to do? Or if no one can agree and everyone's just going to argue with each other and everyone's not going to show up to those streams anyway, I'm just going to play Final Fantasy VI in the Pixel Remaster. And if I get 10 people, I'll still be grinning ear to ear because I love the game, right? So I guess that's a question. Like, what is it? What are we going to do? We can only have one of those in the rotation. Only one. And I mean, and if I get the feedback and it's like, do this and I do it, and then immediately the streams are failing, everyone's complaining, the game's boring. I, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what to tell you guys. That just shows it's a symptom of the industry and the games that are coming out and not the person playing them, okay? And it's not my fault. Because if I can turn the games off and have a bigger audience, right now, I have an audience of 705 people, okay? Contributions are literally coming in. I got tips, I got super chats, I got everything coming in just because I'm sitting here talking to you. If this is doing better than me playing- Because play they want to see you, bitch. More people come and watch your stupid ass fucking podcast to see you bitch and whine and complain. And then and then we actually start the gameplay of any game, you just fucking go away. Oh, uh, they go away, I mean, because it's boring. <laughs> Alright, I think I got what I wanted out of that video, so let's go to the next one. It's high army, bro. Nope, I'm saving that one actually. Let's go to this one. It's it starts. High army, bro. Better start pinching your pockets, DSP. I think that's the right phrase. Where are we going? That's the front door. What am I? What am I doing? Am I trying to listen or? Stop spending so frivolously in WWE Champions time. Wait a minute! I thought this was a masquerade. None of them are wearing masks. I'm the star of the masquerade. No tidings could be more joyous. Huh? Indeed. Tis a weight off my heart. What kind of a masquerade does no one wear a mask but me? I think I, I'm at the wrong party. Look at this fat fuck trying to wear like wearing a mask. <laughs> I think I went to He the wrong really place. made his character look just like him too, didn't he? Like where, where oh my gosh. What a vain me? piece of shit. What happened? What happened? It's reminding me of my uh, years in high school when they told me there's gonna be a big party and nothing happened. I'm so confused. Oh, I'm so confused. I don't I'm here know. for the masquerade. Everyone left but me. I'm the only one. Yeah, left. that kind of happens when you walk into what a party, happened? Phil. You kind of everyone just kind of like exits. Although that one lady looked like her face wasn't real and looked like a face was like falling off. What am I supposed so to do? So that might count as a mask. I'll, I'll just help myself to this then. Courtly tunic, courtly breeches. I already have it. Wow, this game looks so fun, doesn't it? Like, if I'm gonna play it... Actually, that's a video I need to try to find, actually. Shit, I don't remember where the hell that was from. A bunch of flowers times two. You gotta be kidding me. I showed up and everyone quit? Everyone left? Literally everyone left as I arrived. Come on. This is bullshit. Bullshit. Hold on one second. Culture JRPG style game, right? Let's be honest here. That's absolutely true. I thought Final Fantasy VII Rebirth was going to do it. I thought that would be the big game. Absolutely not. When I started playing Rebirth, games that were AAA releases that were readily available on every... And you could say, well, what about Helldivers 2? Yes, but that's for a certain audience. That was good. And then what you do is when you have those big event feeling games, you fill in the blanks with other games and everything works fine. Correct? Sorry, I'm just this trying to year, see if this is what I'm thinking it is. We haven't had that once. And I, I mean that. With Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, maybe for me and for the Yakuza audience, we felt that, but that did not... I don't think that's the right thing I'm thinking of. Let me go back to this. Oh, come on.
Ah, yeah, it is Thank his. You. Okay, sorry. Hold on. Copy. Nope. That's the wrong thing. Copy link address. I'll watch it after you this. You ever hear about being fashionably late for God's sake? I'm not like, watching 40 have, minutes of this, too, either. <laughs> Literally, they all left as I arrived, and no one who's left is wearing a mat. Whatever could you want from me? So, why don't he, like, reload the save? Or change the time? Because a lot of these RPGs allow you to change the time of the game. In the game world. So you could probably do that. Or reload the save. Or right? restart the console. So or... There's nowhere to pass time. There's no bench. There's nothing out here. Nope. Can't even fucking figure out how to leave. The place is a maze, right? <laughs> you like most castles are. You mean? All right. So I don't know if I should do a full length video on this or not. It's probably not worth it. But I did want to talk about it. JRPG as though many. All right. Let me just go back a little bit to this section here where he's talking about RPGs. And he's complaining about a lack of definitive game release in 2024. I'm like, we're still only like three months into 2024, Phil. Like, it's just started. Like, why? Like, of course, it's not going to be a definitive. Oh, this is game of the year for 2024 this early into the year. Are you stupid? Like, I mean, yeah, he is stupid. But other of you were going to absolutely. But you know what I mean? It's like it's just started 2024. But this is the thing I was looking for, and no one clipped it. I mean, it's not really clippable unless you like a nerd like I am. Because, like, I actually am a huge fan of RPGs. And I know a lot of other people are, too. It's not that rare. A lot of people love them for good reason. But I wanted to show that DSP doesn't really understand the difference between the subgenres of different RPGs. And I think this is going to show it if this is what I'm thinking. All right. So here's the deal. Right now, I feel like... Just a little need... nitpick from me, who's an actual fan of this stuff, and you can tell that DSP is not a fan of this shit at all, and it's just doing it for money. An RPG in the rotation. But, and oh, no, I don't he, he liked... Ring, he I liked... Don't... One old, old... No, he liked two old-school RPGs from when he was younger, which is probably more about nostalgic for his youth than actually liking the actual game itself. You know what I mean? It's like... Because he like he really likes supposedly he really likes Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI, and he I think he said Final Fantasy IV too. But it's like, like it just seems to me that like it's more he's not so much like in love with those games as it is that was sort of like a more simpler time for him. So he looks back fondly in the uh, uh, on those times of him playing those games because life was a lot easier for him back then. So it's like rose tinted glasses and don't get me wrong those are great games i'm not saying they're bad games however like i'm a little bit more pickier when it comes to rpgs so i wouldn't really consider any final fantasy a labeled rpg as the best rpg ever made i wouldn't go that far but Even they're okay Elden they're good as an I'm not saying they're bad playthrough. it's not it's a from soft playthrough it's a Soulsborne playthrough it's still an RPG, Phil. There are subgenres of different RPGs. And some games do get labeled as an RPG when they aren't really anything like an RPG at all. Some of them are do, right? But still, it, it can be pretty easily argued that FromSoft Dark Souls type games are an RPG. They're an action RPG, but they're still an RPG. So you just substituted... You just um, complained and bitched about RPG overload, and then you added another two RPGs to it, the, your schedule, because you're retarded. So, like... <laughs> That's very different than a typical RPG. When I say RPG, I'm talking about games that are more long-form, games that are going to be played different. It's not constant death. So, yeah, obviously he's talking more J he's talking more JRPG. But as we'll see in a second, he doesn't even know what JRPG is compared to RPG. 
like JRPG is obviously Japanese role playing game, so it usually has more of an anime aesthetic. It usually comes from the east, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. So. Death threat, you know, stuff like that. It's a different steep. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, so JRPGs are games are 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 ge- oh. JRPGs are games and genres where you can't die at all in, according to DSP, because apparently you're just not allowed to die at all, or you you can't die if you if you die in a game, it's not an RPG. It's a FromSoft Dark Souls game. If you die in the game, I oh. Well, I mean, it's it is a little difficult to die in RPGs usually, unless it's a very difficult RPG, or if you're not grinding enough. But like, if you're not grinding enough, you're gonna die. So no, I don't feel like Elden. Sorry, this is my uh, RPG spurg out session. Then we'll get back to what I missed. But this is part of what I missed. So well, technically, it is. Yeah, go ahead and be a stickler. You know, it's not what I'm talking about. You know, it's a completely different style of game. Okay. That um, doesn't mean it's going to fix your streams, Phil. That doesn't mean people are going to come out in swarms in droves to watch you play it, dummy. The way I see it, I don't know why you're playing it what's now. Be our game in the rotation. That's because, awesome. like, the DLC for Elden Ring does not come out until a very long time from now. RPG. If it's going to be a late night chill stream, that's okay. If it means that it's going to have lower attendance and low support, that's also okay. Okay, so bring back Final Fantasy Rebirth. The fact that he was willing to do or die and stand on this hill of playing Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, despite him knowing that it was his lowest supported game possibly in his entire online career. And he still said, fuck you, fuck the money, I'm still going to play this game to completion no matter what, right? And yet he won't do the same for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth when Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has a better story and better combat. Pisses me off. It does. It, it's clearly a better game than uh, Like a Dragon. It just is. I'm sorry. And the fact that he won't give that... Like, you are clearly just said you're looking for a chill, light night uh, RPG... Uh, and so, if you're looking for chill late night RPG, he knows that he's not going to expect a lot of money for an income from this chill late night RPG. So why the fuck not finish uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Why not? If you're just gonna be not expecting much money from it, no matter what, why not get that out of the way and finish it? It's not that long of an RPG, even. It doesn't make any sense. But no, he'd rather start a brand new game than finishing some of these games. You got Sea of Stars, Phil. You can finish Sea of Stars. That's not a very long RPG either. And that's a chill, fun game that you could play on the in the evenings or whatever. And it's uh, very nostalgic because it's like reminiscent of the same style of like Super Nintendo RPGs. So why not play those, Phil? But I can't do more than one at You're a time. You're already it, into it. It never work. I've done. I did that with Baldur's Gate three and Like a Dragon. It didn't work. All right. You're already playing Elden Ring and Dragon's Dogma two. Those are two RPGs. Now you're looking to add another RPG to that, so that would be three RPGs. The only game that you've played recently that's not an RPG is Hell Divers two. Does this make any sense? Oh, and oh, uh, what was the name of that one? Alone in the Dark. I forgot. I keep forgetting he's playing Alone in the Dark. So the only two games that he's playing currently that's not an RPG is Alone in the Dark and Helldivers 2. And he's probably not going to continue Helldivers 2 for more than like one or two days. <clears throat> so basically, does this make any sense? So in the rotation, that's going to work. Is it going to be Dragon's Dogma 2, or do you want me to bring back Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? What's it going to be? Yeah, bring back Final Fantasy VII care. Rebirth and finish I'll play it. I'll either game. I really will. I was liking Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I oh, really you was weren't. enjoying it. And I stopped playing it because people were telling me they were bored. Okay, so finish playing it then. I don't care what people are thinking about it. If you really liked it, you would have played it and not care what people thought about it. But you're not. Tears. I had an insanely low attendance for a Who daytime Who was telling stream. you that? The, everything was telling me stop. No, they no weren't. Idea. One okay. person is probably complaining. <clears throat> So, one person complaining. Um, that being said, I have another proposal. 
And I know absolutely, I know a very, 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 very small group of you are going to like this proposal. Very small. I'm one of them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, of course you are. Because you're going to be the only motherfucker who wants this. The only idiot who fucking watched it. Did I miss it? Hold on a second. One second. I'm sorry, guys. Forty-four thirty-eight. Uh. Oh, I guess that wasn't quite the thing I thought it was. Oh well. Forty-four, thirty-eight. Uh, let me see. Sorry, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Excuse me. So, no, I don't feel like Elden Ring is a JRPG, as though many. Well, technically, it is. Yeah, go ahead and be a stickler. You know, it's not what I'm talking about. Okay, you know, that's what it was. Style of game. So it wasn't <clears throat> quite the part I was thinking it was, but it's. So, um, that being said. And then he goes on to say that, like, oh, I want to play Final Fantasy VI, even though literally no one wants to see him play Final Fantasy VI. All right, let's go up. Oh, that's a later one. His high army, bro. Shut up, Freddy. <laughs> On the listed videos asking me, when did I become a crude? Uh, uh, in reality, okay, what you have is a very big misconceived notion about me based on previous commentary. No, you are a literal fucking prude. YouTube, I always did over-the-top sexualized commentary to attract a younger audience of teenagers. That is what people... Wow, so you were a sexual predator then, huh? You were literally trying to groom children. But y'all love to say that, like, oh, it's, it's uh, the LGGP community and trans people that are grooming kids. No, it's motherfuckers like this. And Wings of Redemption. And Tipster. And Vosh. And I can go on and on. And that's what was popular on YouTube at the time. Over time of me doing this from I just can't believe he's actually admitting it because like that's kind of tired of it. And around 2013, the days when I was starting. And we all know about students, Leanna and how she was underage. Say, Dude, your commentary is too sexualized. It's too over the top. You have to stop. You have to scale it back. You have to start acting your age. But you can't. <sighs> all right, so like I know he's trying to pass this off as that him taking someone's advice, which isn't the case at all. But like. Life is not just black and white. It's not extreme, like, horniness and fucking being, um, uh, cir not circum- uh, what's the right word? What's the word? A eunuch. Yeah, it's a eunuch. There's, like, there, there's, like, there's an in-between. There's a happy medium. He is literally acting now that he is, like, afraid of women. Like, 100% afraid of women. Afraid of women. I'm, like... Even asexual people are not like this, Phil. Because I'm asexual and I don't act this way. You are literally acting... It's so fucking cringe because he literally acts like he's, like, terrified of fucking women. All right? So what I've done is in the And last it's obviously a projection of his insecurities due to inaccurate... Uh, not inaccuracies. Inadequacies that he has in the bedroom. I've changed who I am. I no At least that's what that I think. Yo, I'm gay. The fuck? I'm not wired that way. I don't think of that kind of commentary. I don't want to play games that are over sexualized. Because you're probably gay. And it's fine games. if you're gay. Just admit it. And that's why my problem. You have a beard. Do. I don't really. I don't want to be doing over the top sexualized content anymore. I just have no desire to do that. Okay. And so I get older. My audience gets older. And now people say, well, why don't you do sexual commentary? Why don't you play the game with the half-naked girl in it? Why don't you do this and that? What are you, a prude? It's like, a prude, huh? When I did this stuff over a decade ago, everyone told me it was too extreme. It was too much. You didn't want it. Ten years later, seems like culture has changed. Now you want it again. Well, that's not It's how not that the culture has changed, dumbass. The fact that you refuse to play a decent-looking action game all because it has an attractive female as the main character A.K.A. Bayonetta, A.K.A. Near Automata, and that you're so afraid to play it because it has an attractive woman in it. 
is fucking cringe, bro. Like, I don't know what else I can say. It's just, it's so hilarious that you're so much of a fucking prude. Because you are a fucking prude. He's so much, like, either... And I don't think... I really don't think, in my heart of hearts, it's not Kat caring and being jealous of DSP. She does not like DSP. She doesn't care about DSP. So why would she be jealous over Phil ogling other women? It makes no sense. Why would he? She. Sorry. <laughs> why would she, though? So she doesn't care what games she plays. She doesn't care if he's looking at big titty girls on, on a game or not. So she hasn't changed anything in him. He's changed. Probably because he's 42 years old or 41 or whatever. And he looks like he's fucking 60. And he probably performs in the bedroom like he's 80. And he's insecure about being inadequate. In bed. And and Kat probably doesn't want any of that shit anyway. Because I guarantee you they're not, ro they're not even romantic. Let alone sexual in bed. So. I don't know if this is like a result of low T. I don't know if this is him being inadequate. And um, embarrassed about that. I don't know. Life works. I changed as a person. But this like. I myself am an asexual person. That does not mean that I am afraid to look at women or men or whoever. That's not how that works. That literally just means you don't experience sexual attraction to men or women. But that doesn't mean I can't find women or men appealing to look at. Because I do. I'm like, wow, that person is pretty. That person is handsome. It just is what it is. But that I don't, I'm not afraid to look at a sexually appealing person, that's not what asexuality is. No person that has asexuality is going to act the way he does. He's literally acting like a fucking alien. He'll laugh and be really happy and excited when a naked guy goes on screen. But the, the fact that like a woman's in a bikini, he'll like pretend she's a fucking vampire and like look away. He can't bear the sight of a woman, the womanly form at all. It's like. I, I don't know how he even manages to look at his wife. And I'm not saying Kat is very attractive, because obviously she isn't. But even still, like, the way he acts, I don't know. I no longer want to do that stuff anymore. Okay? It's that simple. So, yeah, But he's acting to... like, oh, it's either light on or light off. It's either 100% sex-crazed maniac or light off being a total eunuch that had his balls cut off and can't ever look at even an attractive person again in his life. There's no in-between there for, 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 uh, for Phil. <laughs> it's either one or the other. It's like there's no happy medium there, you know? To do it, I'm not interested in it. I'm happily married. I don't need I'm happily to married sexualized guys. jokes. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. <laughs> And no one's even asking him to make sexualized yeah, jokes. They're screen. just asking you know I mean? him to play a fucking game. And he's so afraid to play that game because it has a sexy lady on it with a big booty. And he is afraid to play that game because of that. Because he would be so fucking uncomfortable looking at another woman. Looking at a woman, period. You know what I mean? Like, he is so... Uh, and like, so like the only possibility that's coming to my mind is that either he's so far entrenched in the closet that what, and he's been in the closet for so f all his life, obviously that like, it's just like, it's either that or it's a major projection based on his inadequacies in the bedroom and low T or maybe it's a combination of both. And that's why he's acting like that. Cause they're not asking him. His fans aren't asking him to ham it up and make all these sexual jokes and everything else. They're literally asking him to play a Bayonetta style type game, which he's played many times before. What I'm saying it's okay if that's what you're into. Cool. Those but you're he's, younger, you know, when I was younger, that's how my mind conflating like, the issue to be something totally like different. I'm like, that's not what they're okay. saying. That's not what Respect they're asking. That. 
or don't. You don't have to respect it. But don't come on my streams and keep whining about it, saying, why isn't he playing this game? Why isn't he playing this game? I told you I mean, why. honestly, I don't well, see I don't why anyone would want to see him play no, any I'm game. Not wired but... that way. I don't care for it anymore. It's not entertaining to me. In fact, it's obnoxious to do that stuff. But I'm glad you admit gay, you're being a groomer. Gay people. To play those games and then see people nonstop in the chat talking about sexualized shit. It just bothers me and pisses me off. I don't know why people won't give me respect in that regard because you don't deserve now, respect the other. ever you're, you're for anything <laughs> to the you have to the earn respect and you've done nothing group. to earn that respect no, i'm really around here like a normal person but because i don't do the over the top shit like a lot of other streamers do to get shock reactions now i'm approved well no you're you. approved because you're afraid to play no, a game with a woman in it okay Bad that's why with the super jet saying you talk like you live a virginal life the only person who would say that is an immature idiot who doesn't understand <laughs> the difference that life isn't black. What? Well, are you Again, fucking serious? You think the fact that I say I just don't want to play sexualized games. On is he TV, saying this immature. now? Because again, if you think the fact that I say I just don't want to play sexualized games on stream because people are immature in my chat means I'm a virgin. It actually means you have the brain of about a two year old. You think that life is all superheroes and supervillains, good and bad. It's not. It's but you yourself are acting like it's black and white. There's no in-between. There's no gray area. It's not an actual sex game, Phil. It's not a sexual... Wait, what do you call it? Like... What the hell did he call it? Like a sexual great game or something like that? Life is all superheroes and supervillains. Means I'm a virgin? It actually means you have the brain of about a two-year-old. <laughs> you think that life is all superheroes and supervillains. Good and bad. It's not. It's not a polarized existence. You're an idiot. But you're trading it like it is. That you're, you're a moron. So congratulations on showcasing your very stupid brain. <laughs> I don't know what else but to say. But that's how you're treating it, Phil. Life is a spectrum. What you're talking about is not a spectrum. You are literally saying either like it's 100% horny all the time, being like super sex crazed, or I'm a prude. And there's no in-between. I'm like, you can do an in-between, Phil. It's not a sex game. It's not a sexually charged fucking game. It's literally an action game with a attractive female in it. That's all it fucking is. And he's acting like this is fucking Leisure Suit Larry to the max times 11. Like, I don't fucking know. Like, those like weird-ass actual sex games out there. That's what hey, he's acting like it is. That was really dumb of you to say that. Do you think I think Cat watches and gets jealous? Do we think that Cat watches and gets jealous? I don't think so. Again, I'm sorry. Uh, what was his name again? Super Truffer, or is that the other guy? I can't remember what his name is off that man. Do you think that's what it is? Do you it, it's not though, because Cat does not care about him at all. So why would Cat get jealous if you can tell? Uh, with the, by the chemistry of when they're on screen together, that she doesn't care about him, so it's not a jealousy Kat thing. Gets jealous and she gets nasty about. Oh, I'm sure you're playing Baldur's Gate, Phil. You think Lazel's harder than me, Phil? Don't you like my body just because I put on some weight? I like, know you look great, honey. You look great. Don't you think I'm sexy now, Phil? Do you think that's what it is? And by the way, trolls out in force today. I don't that's think it fine. is. We'll take care of them. We'll take the shots off here. Here we go, bad callers. You can keep super chatting as much as you want. I'm just going to ignore what you say. And I'm also not going to put you on the leaderboard. But hey, I appreciate the super chats. <laughs> what a dummy. I'm going to put BB Phil on the leaderboard as the latest super chatter because it's actually a positive person with a brain. All right. Uh, that one's done. It's high army, bro. I want to give you guys an update. Oh, on the God, he's wearing his fucking glasses. On DSP throwback and also a hilarious follow up to that because my trolls are so effing stupid. They tried to cheat. What's up, YouTube? My trolls are trying to troll me again, but jokes on oh. them. In the most blatantly over the top, obvious way, there's no possible way that you wouldn't know that they were trying to mess with it. Oh. Especially because they've been talking about it all over the internet. They're so. Oh dumb. no, we're talking so, about our schemes. I'll tell you the update on that. Alrighty then. Okay, so. Stop. Well, alrighty, you're not funny. Like Ace Ventura. I just realized. No, <laughs> you don't. Ace Ventura wears shirts like this, right? Uh. Okay then. Anyway, 
Uh, so I guess I can take the sunglasses off now. The ga- the gag is up. Uh, welcome everyone. Was that really a gag? Were you trying and, to uh, be funny by wearing doing that? Well, I hope that you will. That's pretty not pathetic, Phil. Inundated all day long. Uh, with Inundated. bad jokes because April first is a day when typically people like to try to fool you into believing nonsense. I watch an older playthrough of mine. Thank you for fast forwarding. Redone audio so you can hear my voice much better and it takes out a lot of the echo and the nonsense. He really thinks his like filters and pop filter changes his mic that much. You still That's sound like shit, right? Phil. Watch me fight the asylum demon. Like, is he gonna win? Is he gonna win? Right? No one what cares. Said, so. uh, and then heavy rain. Oh my goodness. It's the heaviest of rain. Among other things like Mass Effect 1, Bioshock 1, and stuff like that. So we had a poll, and Bully won by a pretty good margin. I think I want to say it was like 48% of the vote went to Bully. Uh, so we tried it last night. Now, I'll be honest, I was already skeptical. I didn't know how it was going to go, because this is not a fully narrative-heavy game. There's a lot of gameplay elements to it and stuff like that. Um, the fact that he wastes a night stream on this stupid ass throwback stream stuff is insane to me it really is i get it he is doing it for money because he wanted to monetize a third channel to milk his fucking dents for even more money than they're worth to get them to pay for a membership on three different fucking channels which is insane as it is and he's even contemplating a fourth channel with politics which I honestly would love to see that because I think it'd be fucking hilarious. So I, I'm all for him making a fourth channel. But the fact that he made a third channel, let alone put memberships on there, is ridiculous. Because it's like how narcissistic you have to be to think that you're doing something special by rewatching your old content from a long time ago. For any actual creative person, who is learning and growing and evolving in their craft over the times over time period, right? It's kind of painful to go back and look at some of your early content that you created, be it art, be it writing, be it painting, whatever you do. That's a creative outlet for you, which I highly recommend everyone have some sort of creative hobby as an outlet of some sort. And I don't want to hear any of that like, oh, uh, I'm not creative. I don't have the talent for that. It's not really so much about being born with a talent. No one is born with the ability to draw perfectly. You practice. That's all it is. It's like it's a skill like any other. You practice whatever the hobby is like writing, drawing, any like painting. It's all about practice. I digress. Um. Like, I draw and I write, right? And I'm not good at either. I'm not proclaimed to be good at either. But compared to where I started from, compared to now, it's like a huge difference. And if I was to now go and look at some of the art back in 2008, 2009, when I first really started seriously drawing, that wasn't just doodles. It's cringy. Like, I don't want to look back at that stuff. I would definitely not show that art to other people online i would not put that out there you know because it's so bad looking compared to now i'd be embarrassed but he looks at his old content old content like this and honestly believes that like it's the end all be all and such good content and all i can do nothing wrong all my content's so great and the fact that like he hasn't grown mentally as an adult in that long of a time period to the fact where it's like he is making the same jokes seconds before old him from 10 years ago is making the same fucking joke really goes to show how much he has not grown how much he hasn't learned and evolved and bettered himself over time he has not changed he loves to think oh i changed now i changed it. no you haven't even down to your boring, stupid fucking commentary has not changed, Phil. You have not changed at all. And it's not. And I don't know why anyone would like want to watch that it's old not content, let like alone a classic that him I've done. rewatching I watch his old content. Like it, 
but it's I not think, yeah, that's a that valid is form the of one playthrough that I watched of DSPs that I love content. and I rewatch, and it made me discover him on YouTube or anything like that, right? Oh, Lord. So we watched it, and it was about roughly just under three hours of reacting. We got through 10 parts of the playthrough, which is exactly what we were doing with Heavy Rain. We were doing about 10 parts in each stream. Um, for the record, the playthrough is 108 parts. So if we were to actually continue with Bully and try to finish it, it would take about two and a half months of React streams to actually get through the whole playthrough. Just throwing that out. And think about how many games, like how quick, how many more, let me rephrase this. Think about all the different games that he could beat, play and beat and move on and get out of his rotation. If he used that time to play a game instead of reacting to his old content. If he gave up on this whole retro react bullshit thing and actually kept playing one of the games he's currently playing right now, he could get rid of all these games a lot quicker because he was bitching, complaining that like uh, Boulder's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon was taking so fucking long to beat. I'm like, well, if you weren't doing this stupid retro react, you, that's like, what, two or three extra hours a day, not a day, oh, like a week? I don't know how often he does it. But that's a lot more time that he could dedicate to finishing these games and getting them out there quicker. But he doesn't care about that. So I'm like, you're just wasting your own time. You're literally doing anything at all possible to not play a game, first of all, and second of all, like, waste his own time even more. That's He's how like the, the king of... About- uh, wasting his own time if you do the math i want to say it's under 20 hours but it's still a pretty lengthy game okay um so anyway so i play it and we're having a good time at first it becomes apparent about halfway through the stream it's definitely not as fun as doing the heavy rain retro react like even i started to feel a little bored because the game isn't as (laughs) good as i remember oh no see and even then he is blaming his fucking game. The game. Phil, this is like your React. If the React is bo- or not the React, if the if the Let's Play is boring, it's because of you, not the game. Stop playing the stop blaming the game for your content being boring. If your content is boring, you shouldn't be uploading it because no one everyone else is going to find it boring too. So if you find it boring, that's definitely going to be fucking boring. I've already played it before. It's a little dated now. There's still unique stuff to it. I think the music was one of the coolest things about the game. I really like the soundtrack. But some of the, the you know, the gameplay was a little repetitive. And I'm like, eh. And people, people wanted to talk about things like reminiscing about school days and stuff. And that's fine. That was actually fun. In truth, I had more time. I, excuse me. I had more fun talking with the audience about our days at school and reminiscing about that than I did actually watching back the game. Just watching back the game to me wasn't that entertaining, okay? And if I'm not having fun watching the game, it's not going to come through as a super entertaining stream. You know what I'm saying? So I did like it, but I I didn't love it. I thought that it was just all right for a React stream, okay? Hey, Eevee fan, how you doing? Cypress TV says, that loud boy, the loud sound that we heard last night, on the bully stream was my pc from 2011 wow it was that loud huh holy shit because i was like we always heard this ambient noise in the videos and i'm like is that the air conditioner i looked it up i played it in like february there was no air conditioner on in february so i was like what could have been causing that atmospheric noise and cypress says that was your pc and i think he has the same pc probably too let me tell you guys something all right Today, things are so different, and I'm so happy for that. Oh, my God. I was God. such a stubborn, pig-headed, obstinate idiot back then. To be put out videos are. that long, Still a piece that of visual and audio quality, and not understanding that the audience was going to leave if I didn't upgrade, like, it was terrible. Even me That's watching not it the now, only like, reason oh, they left either. It's hard to watch, because you just hear, eh, it's, it feels like you're in a wind tunnel trying to fucking watch this video. Like, oh, it sucks. So I'm glad Yeah, but now you were lazy, though, weren't you, Phil? Yikes, that video is hard to watch now. So anyway, um, all you content's so hard to watch. Night, you just realized right, this? Let me put it this way. Was it a disaster stream where no one showed up, no one engaged, and no one supported? Absolutely not. There was decent attendance. We had a good conversation in the chat. But it was nowhere near the levels that we had for Heavy Rain. 
basically, you know, we, we didn't even hit the $50 tip skull, okay? We had a few super chats here and there, maybe one or two memberships, which is okay. And people are like, oh, well, this was good for a night stream. Well, technically, you're right. You know, usually my night streams don't do as well. They're slower. But I'm trying to, to maintain enough interest to keep this viable every Sunday no, night. No, he you wants know, more money. He's done another game. He's, he's or greedy. Or continue with a playthrough you guys want. Not doing these one-off streams that are just doing them for the sake of doing them, right? And with Heavy Rain, it was the opposite. Like, people were dying for more. By the end of the night, I asked you guys, what did you think? And the audience was torn right down the middle. Half of the attendance was like, yeah, that was a chill time. That was fun. Let's do it again next week. And the other half was like, meh, that was pretty boring. By the end there, it really started to fall off. Let's do something different. So with a 50-50 split, I knew that I had to get feedback from everyone. So I put up a poll immediately. We actually did it right at the end of the stream. We put up a poll and said, hey, everybody, please vote on what you would like to see next week for Retro Re eh, I had to work for Easter Eevee fan, which is fine because I'm not really that religious anyway. So I wasn't really having any other plans anyway. And um, my family wasn't doing anything this year particularly for it. So Yeah, and here's the premise. <laughs> no, sorry. Four games, vote, and we'll do whatever wins the poll next week. If next week's stream ends up being more of the same, meaning less attendance, less engagement, less support, and it's just not as popular, then we're not going to do it every week. And that's okay. We don't have to do it every week. Like, I'm okay with that. I'm not upset at all. We have many, many things to do. On oh, so he does streams. do it at once a week. Playing or whatever. So it's not a bad thing. What a waste of time. We don't do Retro React every week. You see, it's, it's actually perfectly fine. It's just Is that it? I want to be sure that I'm doing it. No, he wanted want. the money. That's so, why he was doing it, because he wanted the money. I put up a poll, and the poll Wants was that money. continue with Red Dead Redemption 1, which Jeez, I think like, we gave it like one chance, and people didn't vote for it the next week, and then we took it out of the poll. So I said, we'll throw Red Dead back in there. Continue with Dark Souls 1, because actually some people on that... Sorry, I hope you don't mind that I'm snacking a little bit. I got some Cadbury mini eggs milk chocolate. They're really fucking good. One of my favorite candies, actually. But it's only around in Easter time. Dream, we're saying... And this is kind it's of not the one with the cream. It's like small little. It has a candy uh, outer shell and it has chocolate. Inside. Boring. Let's bring back Dark Souls one. That one was really fun. So I said, let's put that on there. So hey, Aaron, how are you doing? The third option. And the fourth option is actually something that you guys had thought of yourselves and requested while we were playing Heavy Rain. He said, would you react to The Walking Dead season one, episode one? So for those who no. don't know. The Walking Dead. Why would they want to watch that series? You see, I think he's starting to realize that the only really like, I mean, I, how do I phrase this? He's starting to realize that for the retro react stuff, the retro react restream stuff that he does, the only time that it's somewhat entertaining for his audience is when it's a uh, walking simulator. If it's like any kind of game that has actual gameplay to it, he they don't care. <laughs> and they find it boring, which they should find all his content boring if that's the case, because why are they watching him play games right now anyway when it's fucking boring? Because all his content is boring, not just the walking simulator parts, but all of it. But so that's why he's trying to do push this whole um not The Last of Us, The Walking Dead thing. Because it's just another walking simulator. And he loves those kind of games. So that's why I actually wasn't eligible for this week's Retro React. But after last night, I said, okay, well, you know, Bully didn't do so good. So let's do a poll and let's actually put The Walking Dead into the poll and see if people would be interested in it. All right. So I put the poll up last night during the stream. Now, to give you guys some perspective here, all right? You ready? Last week's poll went up and lasted. It was alive for a whole week. By the end of the week, it had about 475 to 500 votes within a week. It took a whole week to get that many votes. Um, I put up the poll last night during last night's Retro React stream. This morning. Oh, I didn't see that. 12 hours I knew that later, he played Helldivers too, but I didn't see. I didn't votes. actually watch it though. What? So magically, the amount of people who followed the channel just exponentially increased in in twelve hours. Oh, right? now you're being paranoid, um, huh? Like, what are you talking about? Right. So then I go and I look 
these people are so dumb. They left comments on the poll that were troll comments. I'm not shitting you. They left comments that were like, oh, do a bunch of pulls in, in the WWE mobile game and pl and then play bully next week. That's what we want. Like, I'm kid I'm not kidding. Those comments were on the fucking poll. And I'm like, gee, I wonder if trolls were instructed to come over here and skew the poll. How stupid can you be? Like, I mean, you want to leave some evidence? You ever seen a you got caught red-handed? I mean, this is like being caught in the act of doing it while 25 police officers are all staring right at you with videotaped evidence, audio recordings, and a satellite foot feed. Not really. There's no evidence there was trolls, first of all. Second of all, it's not that big a deal. Even if it was trolls, it's not that big a deal. Who gives two shits? Oh, no. Philip found out. We're in trouble now. Like, no one gives a Onto shit. You. Like, how stupid can you be? On top of that, I had already been told by two different people overnight that apparently they had been talking about it in their stupid detractor circles. If it even they were do this, skew the poll because they saw that Bully didn't do it. It's good. just his paranoia. Like, Haha, if we get him to play Bully again next week, the stream will again do bad. And anything we can do to, to annoy or hurt Phil, we should do. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so I'm not no, Phil, that's not the case. Uh, end of the day, we don't have to do jack shit to you because you're ruining your own fucking channel by yourself. All doing such a great job at it that we don't have to fucking do anything to you but sit back and laugh at you. That's all we are doing, really. Well, there's no secret like, oh, get this ready, do this. So like, no, we don't care. Not kidding. 500 votes. 78% of the vote was for bully. Gee, I wonder if that could be fake. All right. So in, in light of all of this, I have redone the poll. I've deleted the original poll and I made a new one and I took bully out of it. And the reason being, I'm going to be honest, I don't think bully worked very well last night. You know, I wanted to be fair and give it another shot, but it just didn't seem to work for me. Like I got bored. And if I'm getting bored with what we're reacting to, that's not good. Like, I'm, I'll be honest. I was not bored with but Red you're Dead. Reacting I was not to your bored own with Dark content. Souls. I was never bored with Heavy so Rain. So you're admitting that your own Bully content is boring as fuck. So I just don't think that's going to work. Okay? <clears throat> so now the poll's been redone, and there's three options. More Red Dead 1. All right. More... I, I, we got enough of that. We, we're good. <laughs> we get the gist. Is high army, bro. Will Smith made a video hey, do I, how you doing? a video game with zombies in it. I saw it. I thought it was a joke. I had to check the date on this. I thought, I'm like, oh, what did this happen like 10 years ago? It's just like one of those like weird, you know how like YouTube like randomly recommends you like dumb. Um. So you're, you're still, you're saying you're agnostic, but you want to practice witchcraft? Usually with witchcraft, like to be honest, they like have some kind of belief in a deity of some sort. They have, like, usually, like, with... Well, at least with Wiccan. I don't know about all other witchcrafts, but, like, with the Wiccan practice, it's like they have, like, their own deity that they choose to worship, and they pray to, and they do rituals to honor that deity, whatever, and then they can do some kind of spell. But, like, it's not... It's not, like, fucking... It's not Harry Potter, you know? It's not like in the movies where it's like it's it's basically akin to like uh spiritualist manifesting stuff or like Christians praying. But with witchcraft it might actually be answered as opposed to like Christianity, which never gets answered. Dumbass video. But I thought it was like one of those. Does he slap the zombies? They should have. But I'm sure there is some like, kind of practice you can do that doesn't require you having like a specific DUD. Honestly, or if they let him slap the zombies, I probably. But I don't really game. know what it would be called. So there's a Will Smith video game, apparently. Uh, uh -huh. Did anyone else know about this? I had no idea. I'm looking around and never I feel heard like of this. Nobody knew about this. Wonder why. And given Will Smith's celebrity status, and given that he posted a trailer for this on his personal channel. I would have assumed that many people actually knew about this, but uh, nope, it's the first time we're hearing about it. And the only reason we're even hearing about this game is because the game flopped so hard that man, it, So it's like it, people only... Man, I thought DSP had a lot of statues, but holy fuck, he has a lot of shit in the background there.
I mean, at least he has some cool shit in the back, though. Obviously, you got Johnny Silverhand here. You got that baby from the name of the Death Stranding. You got the um, Metal Gear. Um, the girl from The Last of Us. You got uh, Eva Unit 1. Um, I don't know what this is from. Probably um, Elden Ring. Uh, the Cyberpunk. You got Dragon Ball Z. Um, I don't know what some of these are from, but it's still really cool. Knew about it because it was bad. Garner the a lot of Fallout of stuff back there. Have been reporting on this. Uh, it's and... like one of those people on YouTube, like a like a DSP situation. Oh no, you <laughs> did it, you motherfucking piece of shit cocksucker. Where like seemingly every single person on the internet knows who this guy is, but nobody actually watches the content. It's like this <laughs> weird like a. Uh, Catch-22. People only know about certain, like, content creators because of the bad shit that happens to them, or bad shit that they do. It's called being only a local. now are people discovering that this game even existed, Yeah, which may explain why this game flopped like it did. No! All right, what's the next one? Oh, yes, because DSP loves his wife so much. No Burger King sandwich for your anniversary this time, no. cat. In fact, my wife and I had forgotten that this Sunday was Easter. Actually, that was her birthday. we went out yesterday, and every store had Easter stuff in it. We're like, oh, crap, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, right now... Hey, JDX, how are you doing? We're going to do anything for our anniversary. It's our fifth wedding No, they aren't, Evie. Like, I, I know like, a lot of, it? like... Oh yeah, April tenth. A lot of Christianity oh, and stuff loves to spread off, fear about stuff they don't understand like, and that kind of stuff. So but it's not with all the really the case at all. Busy with that, we forget about shit ninety percent of the time. I would, I literally would not remember my own birthday unless I did a stream of it. Seriously, I, I wouldn't even think or remember when my birthday was unless we were doing an event on that day, right? So, I think we're gonna do something. We were talking about. Oh, that's it, cool. Regardless if we have the actual anniversary day off or another. JDX, day, we're that's really cool. About the dinner somewhere. I can't that day. I can't write lyrics. It's right so now. hard. Okay. Oh, that was it. I wasn't even paying attention. I zoned out. It's fine. Whatever. I didn't realize it was that short of a thing. I think I'm accidentally going backwards. I'm not watching the 20 minutes. Shout out to hate. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, just listen to what I just said. Dragon's Dogma 2 and Alone in the Dark are the first two games I'm playing. Brand new games, juggling them, right? Then a co op will begin. I'm just not sure when yet. I'll let you know when we have more information. Trying out Battlefront again and seeing, you know, if it works and if it does, maybe throwing that into the schedule once or twice a week and bringing back. Yeah, like, how do you forget okay. your anniversary? Now, all like, that. if Kat actually cared about this relationship, she would be so fucking pissed. Any woman would be so fucking pissed if you just forget their anniversary. Like, you would be in the doghouse for months, dude. <laughs> It's like, what the fuck? I'm all aware that there may be other things going on. For example, we're all awaiting the information about the Akuma release uh, in Street Fighter VI. <clears throat> right now, I'm not interested in going back to fighting games in any full-time capacity. Uh, but, but maybe when that happens, I'll go back to that. All right? But just listen to the big variety I just said. And by the way, out of all those games I just said, only one of them is truly an RPG. It really is pathetic. Like, And we all know that he RPG, has a oh, bad oh, memory, but yeah, Jesus Christ. But it's really its own when you say Soulsborne, that's its own genre, right? It stands alone. It's different from all the other games in that in the rotation. Especially, it's going to be different than Dragon's Dogma 2. So there you go. Now, <clears throat> for all the people spamming FF7 in the chat, you can shut up right now because we've already discussed this. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth did absolutely poorly here on DSP Gaming. All right? I played about 20 hours, and it did not do well at all. <laughs> He People does need Jackson streams. They were not engaging. Uh, plan, wait, what they call it? Things and actually saying it was plan three or Plan C, the whatever it was, was <laughs> ridiculously low for a brand new RPG playthrough. And at that point, yeah, I think he might need to actually go and touch grass at that point. Truth, I don't think so. I don't think that was the case at all. Like, I think oh, I forgot what my birthday date was because uh, I didn't stream. Um, I'm not saying I'm never going to go back to Final Fantasy VII. 
But if it's, I'm not going back to RPG Overload. I refuse. If I'm going to choose between two RPGs, I'd rather play Dragon's Dogma 2 than Final Fantasy VII Rebirth right now. But and I, I know this is a little older of a video, but keep in mind, after him saying this, he started playing Elden Ring, which is an RPG. It's not a JRPG like he said, but it's still an RPG. And he's also thinking of playing Final Fantasy VI. So, yeah. He's right back into RPG Overload again. I go back to Final Fantasy VII in the future. I never Maybe heard the band Ghost Dragon's before. Dogma. We're looking for another RPG. We can go back to it. But I'm I don't think I've, I've seen the movie RPG Ghost, but I've never heard of the band. I literally just did that for four months. I'm not a moron, and I don't care how many people spam the But you are a moron, because you're going right now. back into I'm it, idiot. I'm killing my business further, because in reality, as much as I enjoy RPGs, they kill this business. Literally, Baldur's Gate 3 hurt this channel badly for the last two months. I want you to understand that. That was a sacrifice to get through an insane... Oh, it was a like sacrifice. That. He loves his job, like though, guys. Again. I can't. They don't fit my formula. They are an action RPG, but it's still technically an RPG. And he said he was looking for a new RPG to add to, add to his schedule. I'm like, you're already halfway through Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. He's halfway through Sea of Stars. Why don't he play one of those and get those games finished? But no, he's, he wants to add a brand new game instead of finishing the game he's already in. All right. Even if they came out with Baldur's Gate 4 tomorrow, I would not be playing it. I cannot play these kind of games anymore. They don't work. Okay? Yeah, because, yeah, exactly. So, like, yeah, the card game is kind of like, I don't know if it's that important or not, but, like, he doesn't have the common sense to like maybe do some of the menial like side quest stuff like that off screen like it wouldn't take that long to like play and do the um the card games like off screen for like 10 minutes or something like that you know what i mean or have that pre-done already for as much as people came by the streams and supported them the channel itself has dipped so badly I'm not kidding you when I'm telling you I am down thousands of No, he's still playing up. RPGs. Compared to before I started Ball. And on top of that, he was talking happened. about possibly starting Final Fantasy VI. I'm like, you just played Final Fantasy VI in 2020. Why would you play it again? And like, like you have two other RPGs that you're in the middle of that you could finish. But he doesn't want to do that. That you haven't played before. Support no, he wants to replay a game he played like four times already. So you may think, oh, but the on streams stream. well, and the streams are great, but that's not a business. That's half of the business. One side has done good, and the other side has completely faltered because of Baldur's Gate 3. Literally, that's the cause and effect reason it's happened, okay? So I can't do that shit anymore. I can't. I'm not going to be doing uh, this kind of insane stuff anymore, killing this channel. Yeah, it's not that big All a right? surprise. It's just kind of stupid. But I didn't watch the suggestion stream okay. stuff. Um. I watched no. a little bit of Anne going over it, but that was about it. No, I'm not playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth now. I already said I'm not. It didn't do well when I was actively playing it, and I'm going to be playing Dragon's Dogma 2, so it's that or or one or the other, and I've chosen Dragon's Dogma 2 over Final Fantasy VII. I'm just more interested in it, okay? It's that simple. Fair enough? You're the devil, mama! Okay. No. <laughs> Foosball's the go. devil. Rock that's, music's that's the devil. Happen. Harry tomorrow, Potter's it's the it's devil. Be... Turns Dragon's out they're right about the last battles. one, though. I just <laughs> don't know the order yet. We have to figure that out today. I'm down for either. All right, Cream Sardine, would you like me to ban you now or later? Because I just said I don't want anyone bitching about this, and you're bitching, and I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm not going to have anyone bitching about Final Aaron, Fantasy. you should rewind the stream, because he was talking about, well, with Elden Ring, but he was also talking about uh, looking for a brand new RPG that he could play as a downtime late night stream. Because we just watched it not that long ago. He was looking for another RPG to supplement for the night streams. And I'm like, you got two other RPGs that you already started that you could bring back. You can bring this game back. You can bring Sea of Stars back. And that's when he was thinking, oh, well, maybe I recommend it. Uh, maybe you guys should play Final Fantasy VI. I'm like, no. At all. Zero. Play one of these games you're halfway through. Say, Shut up. Because I'm not killing my business over this. And if you say it another time, I'm going to ban you. Because I've just had enough of this, this entitlement. 
Oh, I, I just want what I want, nothing else. And I'm Speaking of entitlement, you're I the only one being entitled here, Phil. You're the most entitled it. piece of shit Respect there that. is. No, I want it anyway. Me, me, me. Shut the fuck up now. You're the one who I'm feels entitled to their money, no matter what you do. I just had my channel dying for four fucking months. I'm not doing it again because <laughs> you're going to be entitled about it. But you are I, doing I, it I again. You're still playing a bunch of RPGs. I was liking the game, too. I was Unless he dropped Dragon's Dogma 2, did, did that happen and I'm not aware of that? Way low viewership. Way low engagement. Because last I heard, he was still was playing like, wow, Dragon's Dogma 2. I was shocked. I thought it was going to do way better than it did. And to the point where I was like, well, if anything goes onto a, a hold status, it has to be this game. Because it's just not doing well. You know? But he played... He played... Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth... Despite the fact that that was making way less money than Final Fantasy VII Rebirth ever did. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth was not doing that great. But compared to Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, it was doing a lot better. But he's like, oh no, I'm definitely finishing Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. But fuck Final Fantasy VII, we're putting that in the back burner, even though that was making more money at the time. It doesn't make no, any sense. I'm just, I don't want to hear the whining. I'm the one running, trying to have a business here. You know, doing variety content. This is not DS. Oh, he has RPGs. dropped it. Okay, I didn't and I'm see not that. Doing RPGs nonstop <laughs> all year. I'm just not doing it. And then he was also bitching about like, well, what other game could I fill in my rotation? I'm like, well, since you are dropping DD2, which I didn't know about, but since he is dropping that, why don't he pick up the other game that he was contemplating playing, um, Rise of the Ronin? Why doesn't he play that game since he was? torn between playing dd2 and rise of the ronin so why not play rise of the ronin why are you playing elden ring so fucking early when the dlc does not come out to like fucking june or something so like can't do it, it doesn't make any sense business you understand me i will i will go out of business not but i thought it wasn't about the money phil people coming by and since you were making more money in final fantasy 7 than you were on fucking like a dragon with Final Fantasy, it was actually really bad. For a business so money stop. standpoint, it would make more sense to drop like a dragon. How this fucking channel can work. I wish it could. If I had my way, we would play way more RPG. I want to make this abundantly It's clear. not I the game RPGs. itself. It's about you, tonight. dumbass. You're boring. Your gameplay is boring. Flow. People want balance. Oh, I knew okay. he was eventually going back to Street Fighter 6. That doesn't to surprise variety. me at all. You should have done that I'm before. I'm not going to be listening because he was actually getting somewhat decent money when he was doing that, even though he was getting his ass kicked. Then basically, get my chat. Just he won't ever go back to Tekken Eight though, or it. Mortal Kombat One. I'm going to do what's Those right, are done. Which means balance, which is always what's worked for this channel. And especially whenever Akuma comes out, I don't know when Akuma actually comes out, but he's going to get that and play that for sure. I called it RPG Overload in January. Everyone's like, ah, no, not a big deal. And then what happens? I'm not kidding. My views are way down, and the profit on this channel is way down. Just because people come back every day and will, you know, tip on a, on a Baldur's Gate 3 stream, that's great. But what about everything else? What about ongoing memberships? What about people who would super chat when there was a great game that they enjoyed? All those people are gone. Why would they give you memberships they when they're getting left. free memberships you know, like, from Argentina, Phil? RPGs every day for four but no, blame it all on RPGs why, instead of Argentina why, memberships. Clamoring for new games to come into this situation or to have something like Elden Ring come back. They're tired of the same shit. You know what I'm so saying? play Ring of Rise of the Ronin. No, you won't do that either. Because that's what I'm saying. Like in these instances where he's like, should I play this game or this game? Because they're both coming out at the same time. He picks one and then he never, ever goes back to the other one that he could have played. I'm like, well, OK, you're dropping Dragon's Dogma 2. So why don't you play Rise of the Ronin since that's not an RPG? And you're bitching and complaining about RPGs. But instead of playing Rise of the Ronin, he's going back to Elden Ring, which is an RPG. Because that makes sense. <laughs> Actually, let's find out really quick. Really quick. DSP Gaming. Community tab, we got the schedule. So we got Elden Ring Magic Ring continues. Yep, Street Fighter 6 returning tomorrow not afternoon, obviously. Hopefully Piece of Peace is restreaming. Oh god, his birthday bash marathon is going all day long Saturday. Oh, 
that's going to be a rough one. I'm well, I'm, yeah, I'll have to work anyway. So but good luck to any detractor who restreams that because that's going to be fucking rough. You're going to need alcohol to get through that shit. And then right after that, he goes into two react bullshits right after that. And then there's not even a late stream Monday afternoon. It's just the alone in the dark end. <laughs> What shitty schedule this is. Holy fuck. You got nothing to look forward to at all. Birthday Bash is going to be trash. I don't know if he's actually even playing a game at all or not for his birthday. I haven't heard him talk about what he actually planned on doing. Um, yeah, and obviously Elden Ring's boring. I don't think... Yeah, so the only decent thing is going to be the Street Fighter VI, which, I mean, he should have brought that back a while ago. But Oh, I Vegas? Go. Well, <laughs> Good luck to Ivega, man. He's going to need that shit. Okay. So, everyone, I hope you understand. And if you don't, is Ivega streaming right now, actually? All the time, as they say, DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. Um, DSP is I know a Lefty's fuck. streaming. What we've had this year is a situation where, unlike, nope, previous doesn't years, look like it. be a giant game that everyone wants me to play. Oops. Last year at this time, Resident Evil 4 Remake came out. And everyone said, play that game. And I did. And it did stupendous. Views, support, everything was amazing when I played Resident Evil 4 Remake. Right? Because that was one game everyone was hyper-focused on. They wanted to see me play. This literally hasn't happened in 2024. It's been some people want this. Some people want this. Some people want this. Some people want this. And I can't please everyone because I can't play eight games at once. It just doesn't work. I, I, skipped I mean, definitely Not big ups to IV I do like watching his streams a lot. About that. I don't know. It, it seems like played, as the I time skip. goes on this year for detractors, it's like I'm enjoying watching them less and less for certain ones. Ivigas, their stream, his streams are still entertaining, and streams whenever it does because it's getting few and far between. Whenever Anne does a DSP stream, those are always good. Obviously, Tevin streams are still good always. Um. I don't like the this is how you don't play crew that much. Like, I don't like watching this is how you don't play. I don't really like watching the um, him and Atlas. So I forget what it's called. It's on WPIG. I don't like really watching that. That's kind of meh. Like, I used to like the 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 Dency Scrolls. I kind of like that, but I think they stopped doing that. I haven't seen that one in a while. Um, I. Detractor Beam's just kind of getting annoying after a while now. It's like I used to like Detractor Beam stuff, but it's just all over the place. They don't have no consistency. It's just them talking back and forth to each other, making jokes instead of actually reacting to any video or actually watching anything. Like, I'm waiting to watch the video with them, and they'll pause it for like half an hour to go on this dumbass field trip. And I'm like... Can we get back to the video so I can see your like your reaction to the video instead of you guys asking random questions to each other? Like, I don't know. I'm still on the wrong. So I can't please everyone in a situation like this. I can't. We have to get to the point where eventually there will th be things everyone wants to see. I know what that's going to be. The Elden Ring DLC. Everyone wants to see me play the Elden Ring DLC. Which Elden doesn't DLC. come out me to too. June, Phil. I'm very excited about it as well. Okay? <clears throat> so. I'm excited for that. And uh, sorry, Joy, I don't really like watching <laughs> wrestling. I'm not a big wrestling person, so it's like I don't really even like. I've seen clips of it, and it's cool, but like I'm not that big into wrestling, so I'm like I don't really understand the rules or anything like that. I hope that you guys will get hyped for that. But until then, we have to play other games, right? <laughs> we can't. I can't just fucking <laughs> play nonstop RPGs. It will not work. Oh, I yeah. also really like um. Taking else is like one of my favorite channels is like recently, but like they again, it's like kind of few and far between when they do do a stream. It's kind of a shame. That's it. And I'm putting my foot down. I don't want to have anyone whining in the chat about it. I'm giving you a heads up. We're doing variety for the next two months until the end of Elden Ring. What DLC is all game out. fake? If you don't like what? variety, you're in the wrong spot. This is not DSP RPG where I get less than 200 views a video because no one cares about lengthy RPGs. And then I go out of business. We're not doing that anymore. We're actually going to do variety content. Okay? Now, this is a shame because, like... Thank you. To those who are I want to stay out of drama. And, like, really. it just seems like, like everyone's so into drama. It's, it's stupid. I'm it's not like... Gonna put up with it. 
because it's it's that kind of attitude that sadly oh wrestling yeah wrestling is don't understand is very toxic there's a difference between saying man i really wanted final fantasy 7 and i really and i really it. prefer the taking out streams when lefties hosting it as opposed to logan i like both of them they're both good but they're like both good in different ways and i just find lefty a little and bit more funny why you can't play it right now they're both versus, fun i want what i want and if you don't give it to me i'm gonna act like a spoiled brat and just stand in your chat and whine and complain and make everything toxic there's a big difference there you see <laughs> there's a huge difference <clears throat> And like it just seems like there's like some kind this of like be the equivalent, and I know you love the food references, right? Clicks. It's like the different detractors have like For the different reason, click, they just clicks can't that like is going on. No. It's like if you got these guys the over here, you got the that being the restaurant over here with the top of their exclusive club. Why don't you serve you got the dish? Why don't you there. serve the dish? Why don't you serve the dish? Or do you leave and go somewhere? Oh, shut up, DSP. Jesus, right? Or just maybe. If you're actually kind of adventurous, that would be right, hilarious, if Aaron. If that was the case, like as much as the old one, if like it actually right? started like over again and it's, he's doing all that just time maybe, for anything instead of screaming around. All right, I think we got the gist of this video because I think I reacted to part of this before the last time. Is dumbass sandwich comparisons and analogies that don't make any fucking sense. Oh, speaking of religion, here you go. Did he actually ban the word Stellar Blade? It's so fucking stupid because he was saying like it was he was claiming Stellar Blade to be a sexually like a sexual game. I'm like, it's an action game, Phil. And a lot of people want to play that game because the combat actually looks fun. It looks like a fun, fluid action game. I'm gonna be disappointed if I buy the game. And the combat isn't fun. I want like a fluid, fun, fast paced action game like Nier was. You know what I mean? And so I'm going to be upset if it doesn't play as good as Bayonetta or Nier. And the fact that it has an attractive woman is just icing on the cake. But that's not what the whole game is about. It's not a sexual game. Now, there are some Japanese games that are very sexual. Especially if you want to go on fucking Steam, there's a ton of them on there. But it's like Stella Blade's not a sexual game, and the fact that he's calling it just that just because it has an attractive ah, woman is crazy. They're watching my reaction videos from Sunday, and uh, this is the new one that went live this morning on my DSP Reacts channel. Well, I find that doubtful because no one watches your reaction videos in that in that video, except for detractors. Uh, isn't it funny that most religions have common themes <clears throat> and or common morality codes? And really, it's just semantics. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really God like the. I don't really like Dark Souls games. That, those weren't really my cup of tea. Like, I don't want a game that's like purposely incredibly difficult. I just like to have whatever, fun and play a game. But almost all of them are preaching the same messages. And I get how says, other people would like it. After watching video from today, isn't it funny how most religions say things like "Don't judge or hate over others," but then most do exactly that. It's like you said, going to church doesn't make you a good person. It's how you act outside of there. Exactly right. For some people. Religion. Like, I kind of wanted to play Rise of the Ronin, but I don't know if there's a difficulty select in that or not. Because, like, I like playing on, like, more of a normal. I don't really like Dark Souls type. And if it is play, like, a Dark Souls or Sekiro, I'm probably not going to enjoy it. So I'm kind of iffy on if I want to even get that or not. If it plays more like Ghost of Tsushima, which had a difficulty select, and you could play, a, like, a normal game and not a Souls-like game, then that would be different. And I would want to play it. Religion is a way of life, and the tenets of their religion is how they, they behave and live. For others, religion, I hate to say it, is a crutch by which they act like they're a good person, but then they use that to say, oh, this justifies me doing all these bad things. That's like 90% of Christians, by the way, right there. They love to use it as an excuse to pretend that they are better when they don't follow the actual tenets of religion at all. So I kind of have, have to, to agree with them there a little bit. Religion, you can't just state it and then not abide by it 90 for five percent of the time right that's that's my take anyway if you're going to yeah and most of the christians to try to call out and judge other people based on how they're living their life even though they aren't christian like that makes no sense to me i'm like your whole religion is about god judging other people not you judging other people so let god judge us when we get the 
hell or heaven or wherever the hell we're going. Yet when we die, let God judge us. I don't need you, who is a flawed human being who isn't even taking the tenets of your religion seriously to fucking judge me. You know? Say you're religious and you're going to practice a religion, then actually practice. I haven't it. played don't Rust. Do, but I probably wouldn't like it. Opposite of it. But then actually go to church or mosque or whatever and pretend like you're a religious person. You're not. You know? You see through right through that shit. This is from a guy um, who also like, is uh, not religious, Shagan though. Two super he claims himself he isn't Shagan religious. Bank. And then there was someone says, Argentina Mafia? Who did a dollar super chat? Got to represent. Argentina Mafia. You want to know the funniest part about that? Got to represent. They did a super chat. That's a real dollar. They didn't do an Argentinian super chat. They actually did a real dollar. Oh, you're so chat. rich now, Phil. Right? You got a dollar. Mm. Hmm. Abdullah, I did not say that. He says, you can't say all religions are the same because the Quran and stuff. I mean, I don't believe in hell at all. But I have a very weird belief. I basically believe in reincarnation. I think there is a god or goddess somewhere out there, but I don't think it's a Christian god. And I don't think there's a hell, really, either. I do believe in universal karma, though. So if you're a negative person and karma does not catch up with you in this life, it's going to catch up with you in, a, in, a, in the next life. So with Phil, since he's skirted karma most all his life, he's probably going to have a negative experience in the, ne in the next life. I didn't say that. What I said is there's common threads. There's oh, I was raised Catholic, codes. too. I didn't go to, there's common I didn't go to a Catholic school. But I was raised Catholic, and I did go to Sunday school, though. How my grandma even made me be an altar uh, altar boy, so like that was fun. <laughs> things right that are that are between religions, and the, here's the problem: you take and like even at a younger age, like I that, was like, yeah, true. this is if kind you of bullshit. Analyze religion but... <laughs> from a big picture perspective. Many religions have very common themes in them, like the core of the morality code is the same. Now, the way you practice that is completely. different. I mean, I hate to say this, but Phil is kind of right here at this. He doesn't understand a lot of religion, but he is a little bit right here when he's saying this. Like, every religion basically has, like, the same set of morals, but different ways of practicing that. It's basically most of these organized religions are, don't be a dick, don't be an asshole. And a lot of people in these different religions are like, yeah, we'll just ignore that part. We're still going to be an asshole. Like, but there is some truth in all of these different religions, though. But I don't think any of them have it 100% right. Different. The people who are the holy figures are different. The idea of God is different. I mean, many religions have completely different ideas of what God is. Oh, have okay, you studied all the God. religions, Phil? Do you but know every single the fact one? That you're getting angry at this is kind of ridiculous. It's a, it's a, angry at what? non-offensive analysis and you find offense that's you, your problem I'm, I'm telling are they offended because you said the whole like zombie jesus thing is that what this is yeah the best way to approach this stuff is to think big picture and you can make judgments for yourself of what you believe or you don't but oh the, no the, i know he's a charlatan because he himself is being a hypocrite he is not christian he doesn't practice christian values fundamental christian values or any of that shit so, like, wh who was he to talk about and preach these Christian values? And, oh, when I was a kid in Catholic school and blah, 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 blah. And, like, so what? You're not uh, practicing Catholic right now, so why does it matter? And then when he goes off on the whole, like, God, I forget what he, he, he was saying, but it was like, oh, Catholics, they don't like to tell and show off when they're... um donating to charity i'm like i've never heard that before and i was raised catholic i never heard anyone say like oh oh sorry we can't tell anyone that we're donating to charity i've never heard that before as and long as like you're helping out people in, in the time of need that's all you really matter ignorant. i'm sorry it just is you shouldn't be ignorant like that in your life you should have a more open mind trust me you're gonna have a better time in life going through life with an open mind perspective than just saying well i'm offended because you even brought up something there's nothing wrong with being an atheist or agnostic or just not sure because it's it's tough. And especially when you see a lot of the negativity in this world and the pain and the suffering in this world. And if there is an omnipresent, omnipotent 
a divine being that's allowing this all to happen when he could easily stop it. It makes you wonder why he isn't stopping it and why he's allowing it to happen. But, something that says that what I believe isn't correct. I didn't say even say that. That's the other thing. I didn't even say and that. And don't get me wrong. Like, like, even if you're Christian, it doesn't matter what your belief is. I respect your belief. But, like, the tenets of the Bible, or if you're quoting, like, biblical passages at me, like, that's your holy book. That's not my holy book. I never agreed to that. Like, I don't have to follow that stuff. You have to follow that. So why are you quoting that at me? I don't care what your book says. You know what I mean? It's like, practice what you preach. And, oh, like, that's fine. If you want to follow the rules of your own religion, go ahead. But that doesn't mean I have to follow them, too. I said there's common themes. I didn't say all religions are exactly the same. I said there's common themes. Oh, he was never religion. charitable that's in the first offensive. place, though. That's the in case. He way. never actually. I don't know how you could even find a. I mean, unless he's being <laughs> charitable to Scopely, I guess. <laughs> hmm. He makes big donations to charity. Okay. Anyway, Scopely being the charity, on, but we? oh, I have to put Argentina Mafia on the leaderboard. Right, exactly. Aaron. Right? Super chatter. Don't try to like <laughs> persuade me to join your religion because it's not going to happen. I already thought about it. Okay. Exactly right. Lord Plaxis says he doesn't think that religion should be a, con a conversation, and it's true because again. What have I said over the years? Why'd you why, bring it up in the first I place? What spurred this religion? conversation on this in why. the first place? Because there's people who are just so black and white thinking that it's like, oh, God forbid. Yeah, exactly. With me on religion. Now His I tax hate records you. prove that I he wasn't. You. Wait, what? You hate me because we have a disagreement on something? What kind of a way is that to go through life? No, I hate you for and a lot like of different reasons than that. I've always been touchy subjects for me that I usually don't touch upon because there's so many people that, oh, I'm offended. What the fuck? Why are you offended? Right? I, I, silly comments. Right? There's there's a running joke on the internet. Okay? Here's the joke. Jesus is a zombie. Why? Because he rose from the dead after three days. Oh, he's That's doubling down on it. Rise from it. So he is basically talking about the... um. What was their name? It was the two brothers, and they were um they were given f tipping Phil and giving him care packages for the longest time. Remember? Oh, I can't remember what the hell the names were or whatever. It started with a D. But I can't remember what the hell the names was. But it was like two brothers who like tipped him a lot and gave him care packages and gave Jasper care packages and everything. But they were religious and they got offended at DSP when he like two years ago or a year ago or something. They said they said they got offended because um, DSP did the whole Jesus joke or whatever it was, and like they left or whatever. And like that's good because any I like any dent that's seeing the truth and leaving him is fine with me, obviously. But from the yeah, the Dutch it's brothers that was it. No, I knew it offensive. started with a D. People get Thank genuinely you, offended if you make that joke. They'll be like the Dutch brothers that was they were there. Oh my god. You know, no one's trying to be offended. And he's still it. pissed fact, off about it, so Twitter he's like a huge meme on Twitter about it. He's doubling down on it and, and talk, basically like, talking about it Jesus day, without mentioning right? their name. And I'm like, this is why would anyone think that that's offensive? It's a it's a joke. It's not meant to be serious. No one is is actually saying that. You know what I mean? But people, oh my, yeah, he's God, more of a lich anyway. It. So but, it's dude, like, relax. If you, everything you do in your 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 life gives you high blood pressure. You're going to have an aneurysm over nothing. Speaking from experience, Phil? You know what I'm saying? It, uh, come on. You're going to be the one who has aneurysm on stream, me, not us. I've always, I, In my life, I've always been an equal opportunity in jokester. In my life. Right? You can you can make fun of me. I don't care. No, you, we can't. About. No one can make fun of you or they're going to be fucking banned from your stream, Phil. What are you talking about? You are like... For being online on YouTube, for making content for as long as you have, you still have the thinnest skin of anyone on the internet at all. Except for maybe Elon Musk, but that might be about it. Like, you have the thinnest fucking skin. You keep saying, oh, you can make fun of me, but we really can't, can you? You can't take any sort of criticism or any kind of advice. If someone gives you advice, you shit talk them and basically berate them uh, until either be banning or leaving. 
Because God forbid they try to fucking criticize you in any way. Me make jokes about my ethnicity, about my beliefs. I don't give a shit as long as it's in good humor or good. You know, you're not actually trying to be offensive. You're not trying to say that someone is dumb or wrong, but you're just razzing them. That's okay in my opinion. But again, when it comes to politics or religion, it's like, oh, you and that's can a never valid that reason to hate it. There's plenty highway, of reasons to hate. Thinking. Bill, I the older I get, <laughs> there's I no shortage that is such of reasons for that. Mind. To be black and white thinking. I, I never... really hate how abusive he is to his actual fans. I really fucking hate that. I hate how he mistreats Jasper. There's plenty of reasons to hate him. Want to be and like it's that. not Every because he's I... bad at playing video games. Used to be like that. I hate sure, him because he's a racist piece YouTube. of shit. Still is, like by the way. He hasn't changed ago. at all. And I changed over time. I became a more, way more open-minded person, looking from other perspectives and understanding things. And Jasper might have joke, a better life being right? astray than he would actually living with Phil. Everything's though. offensive to me. I don't well, know. Then fucking go. Here's what you should do. Or he Lock could have actually closet. been adopted uh, to a uncaring, loving home that actually took care of him. Close the door and leave the rest Phil. of us alone out here. Because we don't want to be around people who are just constantly offended by every fucking thing that everyone says. Oh, I farted. Oh, is that offensive to you? Sorry. Because Jasper might end up the same way that Puff ended up. Just disappearing one day. Natural human function. I, I couldn't hold it in. Oh, did I offend you? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the unbelievable. Anyway. I got the drip going. 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 Yeah, these are slightly out of order, and I do apologize. I didn't have the time to actually put them in a proper order. Yeah, starting this Friday night, Friday Night Fights returns. Okay? The other big announcement. You ready so for you know he's desperate when he's Once bringing back complete, Street Fighter 6. complete next week. It's not a long game, so we're definitely beating it next week. <laughs> oh, that's why he's just hibernating. Right, I forgot. I'm trying out. As a direct result of all of your feedback, I will be playing Helldivers 2. It reminds me I of, um, I was watching, I was recently watching a Daniel Larson documentary because I've heard his name come up a few times in the detract community, but I've never really known who the fuck this person is, right? And I was watching a, a documentary. It wasn't the Turkey Tom documentary. It was Nick Nobody's documentary. Holy fuck. And then, like, at the end of it, like, he tried to adopt a dog, you know, was successful in adopting a dog. And you could definitely tell he's homeless. He is, has no, he cannot take care of that fucking dog at all. And thankfully, someone did rescue that dog from him. Some, someone needs to do that with DSP. Someone needs to rescue Jasper from him. Because these lol cows cannot be fucking hand, cannot handle owning an animal. Yeah, I, I never knew of this person before. And I was watching the documentary. I'm like, holy fuck, man. See what all the hoopla is about. You guys keep bothering me about it and saying that I need to play it. And at this point, I've actually had enough that I want to check it out myself. Okay? I've seen a lot of it, and it looks good. But again, I'm not convinced that this is going to be good for my content. I feel like that kind of game is meant for someone who has an established team of friends or cohorts we're going to jump in and do team-based combat together and, and communicate. He I really does, though. for like, drop-in, drop-out gameplay, which is what I And do. the fact that you know he's gotten away with, like, just being on probation or parole or whatever, not parole, probation, for all the shit that he's done. It's just, like, and all the outstanding warrants and everything. It's just fucking insane. But since you guys want it, I'm going to try it. And if it fails, it's not a huge deal, right? Isn't it only like $30 or something like that? Yeah, no, I just felt kind of sick watching it, to be honest. PS5, it's like 30 bucks, So it's not a huge deal to try it. And if it doesn't work, big. I mean, I just wasted 30 bucks on the Star Wars collection. So I might as well waste another 30 bucks at least on a game that's popular. Oh, but I thought times are hard and okay. you were trying to save every penny, Phil. Is it 40 bucks? Well. Are you fucking serious, it's Cliff? You was? Deal, right. Um, Jesus Christ. For trespassing again? So I think I'm going to try it, and we'll see what happens. Okay? I do. I'll see what happens. Why don't they actually, like, like hold him? Like, oh, you should play it with he has plenty of priors that one, it would, that wouldn't be hard. Realize that, right? Because if it was you and me, and we did something even remotely, like, generation. I trespassing at one time, we'd be fucking, like, held for, like, who knows how long. He gets out like that. You know? 
That's number one. Shit. Number two, I don't have a way to really sort through that. Why brand. don't you play with a friend? Um, <laughs> that ain't happening. Right now, trying to do like member stuff would never work because people can buy memberships for uh -huh. pennies. So you can't do a members only thing because there could literally be an infinite number of members at any moment that it's meaningless. Like if know? any of us so, like there's really no way skipped, to do that. Um, All right, but skipped a court date, to, we would I be like arrested like I that and held for like a long is. time. I want to figure out. Shit. It's funny. So it's, what about high tier members? It's the same. You can literally buy an ultra membership on anyone's channel for like a penny. I'm I guess there is such a thing as like roll call That's luck in a way. How fucked up this YouTube exploit is. Memberships are utterly meaningless. You can't do anything that's member related. Anyone can get access to it for nothing. Okay. So I'm interested in, in seeing what this game is and if it's good, because you guys have talked about it nonstop for two months. And you know, listen, I follow social media. Yeah, social media is always a buzz about Helldivers 2. There's memes, there's gameplay footage, there's talk, and I've watched a buzz, some footage, and that's and why you're playing it because it's popular, huh? Really I'm shocked that the game that was not made by a AAA studio looks that good. The closest comparison I can make, do you remember when Hellblade: Senua's Sacrifice came out, and everyone was like, "What the hell is this game?" And then people played it, they were like, "What? Why does it look like amazing? Like it's cinematic, right? Like so, so much detail in the graphics or whatever." That's what Helldivers 2 looks like. Like, why does it look that good? It really shouldn't, but man, I understand why people. Get into yeah, it. I think it a lot of people do. It plays that good. Aaron. So that will be what I'm going to be checking out next. So we're going to finish Alone in the Dark, and then we're going to jump into Helldivers 2 and see what it is. All right? If it does well, if people tune in and like it and want to see more of it, then I would consider doing more content with it. If I play it a couple times, and if, if it becomes another PAL world where we play it a few times and it really doesn't catch on after a few streams, that's okay. It's not a super expensive game. So I'm not too worried about it, but I feel like is this gonna save the channel, Phil? Sake, enough people like, oh, we're gonna save the channel with asked me for this for months, and everyone keeps leaving comments and everywhere. And they're like, Helldivers You're too. The boat. Everyone wants it. Why do you don't you give people what they want? Fine, 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 if motherfucker. I'll give it what you want. I'll play this motherfucker too, game, and I'll prove to you I don't make that much money RPG, on it. Then I'll give you what you want. We'll play Helldivers. So obstinate. Okay, fair enough. I hope so, because again, I keep give, hearing this. Uh, it's I crazy how he's quitting so I'm many saying, fucking games, you know what I'm saying? and so, yet I want to be. Sure he claims he never like wage quits or actually like quits and games and leaves right, games so unfinished. Will, uh, when there's yeah, like a new microphone, no. a list many pages <laughs> exactly long of games that he quit exactly or and why. didn't finish. The, the it's crazy how he like. I haven't that. adjusted anything. I haven't adjusted any of the, the audio uh, filters. I haven't adjusted the volume. Uh, I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue why you would think that. I'm looking here just to make sure nothing has changed. Filters, here they are. It's all exactly the same filters. I actually haven't adjusted. Yeah, his quote-unquote filters that he didn't actually like listen to and adjust for his actual voice. Like, it literally takes, like, 15 minutes to watch a YouTube tutorial, and they go over each of the different filters, and they show you how to program it, and you can listen it to it back in your own voice to, like, pitch perfect it, kind of, in a way. Because that's kind of what I did. Them at all yet. I was thinking of adjusting and his, them. And his filters why. make it sound because terrible. The other day I was whistling on a stream, and apparently all oh, of my whistles Oh, get back to work, Aaron. Muted. You don't want to get in trouble, at least. Like, literally all of them. <laughs> And people were like, that's weird, because when you whistle... At least I don't want to be the reason to catch... And they can't hear you get anyone in trouble. Because of uh, these filters you put on your microphone. And I'm like, well, I guess that's 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 the price you pay in order to not hear the giant screeches or when I go, oh, and I scream or whatever. It doesn't blow your ears out, right? <clears throat> so, we'll, we'll see, but no, I, uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with my mic or anything, unless you guys think the mic's breaking. It looks it looks like it's registering fine here in OBS. So I wish this mic was breaking. Anyway, um So, yeah, that's the deal. So now allow me to give you an idea of what the schedule looks like because this is gonna completely change things. Okay. In fact, in fact. How you doing, Panda? <laughs> would you guys like to try Helldivers 2 tonight? I would like to stab you in the throat. Dogma? 
Why does he do this? Why does he think like this that? is fucking funny? This is disgusting. No one wants to hear this shit. How do you guys feel about that? We'll change the schedule for tonight. Uh. Oh, but it's so funny. <laughs> what do you think about that if I change the schedule for tonight to play? Does he really think this is actual ASMR or anything shit. like that? That's not what that is, Phil. Most I think people my ears are, are bleeding yes, right about now. Are, are screaming no and doing facepalm emotes, but most people are saying yes and thumbs up. Uh, Absolutely, double thumbs up. So serious. And then some people are saying, why are you so close to the microphone? I actually don't know. I got a little too close there. Did he even actually get any new viewers, though? <laughs> oh, but I'm so funny and quirky. Would you like to do that? You know me, like I'll be quirky. Because the thing is, if we play tonight, at least I get like a taste. Albuquerque. Right? So we'll know what it is. And then, if it's good... What's for dinner, we panda? Up, right? Or is it, hmm, 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 panda? Yes. Most people in chat are agreeing that this is what we should do tonight. We should try it. Okay. We should try it. So I guess what no, I'm going to do is after we finish Alone in the Dark, I'm going to hook up my PS5, and during the break, I'm going to buy and download Hell Divers 2. Was there anything yeah, else got, to this no, video, or is, was that kind of it? I got tired of people making excuses. Because I, I hate to oh, say it. Making excuses, every time guys. Say, RPG overload this year. Too many RPGs. Oh, no. It's you. It's your streaming schedule. Are good. It's this. It's that. I'm just tired. He looks like Ricky because Gervais if Ricky Last Gervais had Down Syndrome. Stream then I could see that. Ass game, and we had great attendance, great support, great everything. It's not me. Whenever I go out of my way and I try something different and we have a fun, wacky stream, everything goes fine. But what if I play an insanely long droning on RPG, people fall the fuck asleep. So I'm tired of playing insanely long droning on RPGs at this point. I mean it. Like I know that the vast majority of major games that have been coming out have been long droning on RPGs. But I'm just tired of them. Like, I'm not that big a fan of Ricky Gervais either because he's just not that funny in my opinion. But I also want to do something different. I'm tired of this shit. I am. So I, I, I've had enough. Like, really, last night was just evidence. Still a lot funnier than Phil, obviously. Like, <laughs> Anyone's funnier than Phil. I just got to do fun stuff again. Enough with these insanely droning on playthroughs that go nowhere, you know? I, I, I can't. I'm not going to sit here. Oh, two and a half hour stream, and we, we've we completed 0.00005% of the story, right? And killed 400 more generic monsters. Because you are, like, do I have to bring up his schedule again? Like, half of his schedule now is him not playing fucking video games. So half of his schedule now, because he's trying to do as much as possible to get away from playing video games. So... He's reacting to this, reacting to that, reacting to his own shit, doing uh, his birthday bash thing, doing this, doing that. And then he wonders why he isn't getting any progress made in any of these fucking video games. It's because you are purposely sabotaging your own self. So it's like at the end of the week, you're only doing like, what, four or five hours of ge sorry of gameplay? That's about it. Enough. Enough is enough. So I'm I'm drawing the line. Snort Hogan has I'm what? Changing things. Okay. And I hope that you guys will be here for that, and we'll we'll go. Oh, we'll, let me pull up we'll Snort Hogan really quick. All right, and we'll see what happens. So, as of now, today's schedule is as follows: Alone in the Dark, which I'm happy to continue. I love this game. It's a great survival horror game. To hell with all the reviewers who panned this game. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a super fun game, and I'm excited to play more of it today. We we'll watch so, that Alone next. In the Dark today. And then tonight, we're trying out Helldivers 2 for the very first time. Now, this obviously is a change and an announcement. So I hope that you guys will tell everyone th about this. Because right now... All right, I'll watch that afterwards. ...on the podcast. And a lot of people may be under the impression up. that I'm doing Dragon's Dogma 2 tonight. I want people to show up for Helldivers 2. All right? So please spread the word. I will do my best. In fact, how about I post up right now? Would you like me to do that? Here's what I'm gonna do. Number one, I'm gonna change. Do we know who the troll was? This. Like who did it?
I'm gonna change the stream information. The only bummer is there's oh, absolutely this part. no way he doesn't know how to do this. To it's crazy. The thumbnail, unless I don't have a hell diver's thumbnail. He doesn't know how. He doesn't know how to fucking change a thumbnail. It's insane. So I, I unless I I go downloading thumbnails now from somewhere, which you know this is so dumb the way that YouTube does it. You can't just so, remove a thumbnail. Hold on, I'm sorry. Let me finish doing this. I know that sounds really stupid. You can't. I can't just remove the thumbnail from the stream for tonight. I must have missed There's that. No then. option to do that on YouTube because that's like I said, I don't really watch uh, WPIG or or that being said that often. So now what I have to do is I have to go and I have to try to find a yes, picture to throw in there on the fly during my fucking podcast. Uh, so <laughs> not only is he stealing a thumbnail from someone else, <laughs> he's stealing a thumbnail from the internet and just going to try to plast it on his YouTube thing. But then he also has issues with the size of it also, because apparently he has no kind of photo editing equipment either. Like he doesn't have a photo viewer where you can resize an image. Like I thought everyone had some sort of photo editor where you can like resize an image to be a little bit smaller, or a little bit bigger or something like that. Uh, which is really dumb. But yeah, I, like exactly but what I Aaron says. He's been doing this for 15 years. Yeah, like doesn't know how to fucking do anything. Because he's never yeah, fucking learned game. anything in his life. Save image as. Nope. Can't do that. Doesn't work. You can't save the image as? That's like one save of the easiest things to do. Nope. Wait. Nope. How close do you have it's to... It's so dumb. I try to, I try to get picture, quick pictures. I can't even do it. You don't know how to print screen, Phil? <laughs> you don't know how to fucking print screen? Oh, look. I can take a screenshot. Wow. Oh, it's not showing up. But still, like... <laughs> how do you not know how to print it's screen? It's to do anything on the fucking internet these days. It's ridiculous. And you have OBS open. You can probably take a snapshot of it. How do you... Oh, my God. This guy is like... It's such a basic thing to take a picture of something. This one, okay, this one works. And how? I had to go through four different. How ones. far do you have to zoom your? How far do you have to lean forward Here, so in order to see? If you have to diverse. lean that far forward, you need fucking glasses, dude. And we all knew we needed glasses, okay. but Jesus Christ! All right, so there you go. And then I can then change this. this file is bigger oh my god the file size is too <laughs> big for youtube thumbnail folks it's too big i can't use it this guy the file is, size is like too big. This a is well i mean crazy. obviously he's a boomer but he's like you know like he's that boomer type of boomer that jokes are made like boomer jokes are made of he's that guy he's literally your grandpa I think my grandma knows how more about technology than he does. Holy this shit. Fucking thing. This is what I mean. Like Everything is a fucking chore on YouTube. I can't just delete my thumbnail. I can't. This is a quote unquote work that he does. This is why this is when when he says he works for like 10 hours a day. This is the work he's talking about. Keep that in mind, by the way, because that's just fucking hilarious add a new thumbnail because the file size is too big get the fuck out of here no you just like this is like a it's two so second problem that you can fix and stupid the way they run this fucking site oh like but it's all fucking dumbass <laughs> lazy monkeys bouncing around a, a room yes this is all youtube exactly print screen well i guess you could do it that way but how hard is this like you right click save image as and then if it's still too big, you open up paint, you open up anything like that, and you could resize the image. It's not that hard, Phil. I like to use ear ear fan view. It's 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 spelled weird, but like it's a it's a really nice like photo viewer, and you can also resize and crop things really easily. And it's a very lightweight app. If that makes sense. It's like it's super small processing power doesn't take a lot so if i don't want to open up photoshop i can open this and it's really lightweight so it's not taking up a lot of processing power and you could just copy and paste or 
crop or resize, or you can change it from a JPEG or from a PNG to a JPEG because a lot of PNGs are bigger file size than JPEGs are. So if you just save it from a PNG to a JPEG, it'll probably fit on YouTube. But like, how does he not know any of this? It's fucking insane. And they're padded and they're tossing bananas to back and forth. How you doing, Rydrake? Each other. And this is how they run their major fucking billion dollar business. It's not a YouTube fault. Open, this is a user error, Bill. In paint, which I can't even see. Oh my god, this is fucking stupid as shit. You can zoom in and paint. Open. Waste my fucking time. Here it is. Okay. Now I gotta resize the fucking thing. Here, how do I resize it? Resize. No, that's not it. Resize. Pixels. Why is he doing this on stream? Why do you have to do this right this second? What is it? 1920 by 1080 is the ratio, I believe. 1920 by 1080. Okay, and then I gotta save it as a JPEG. So hopefully that will shrink the file size enough that it's small enough that fucking YouTube can use it. Oh, he knows that. Shit. So why are you bitching if JPEG. you know how to do that? Here we go. But it's Hold still taking here. him like five Do times longer than it should. JPEG. Let's see if this is small enough. Do Holy shit. JPEG. Okay. Fucking piece of shit. It better be small enough. But this is somehow YouTube's fault YouTube and not user error. Shit. How is this not user error, Phil? Now, where did it save it? Oh my god, you don't know where it here saves it? New Hell Diamond. It's, oh, it's, oh, now it's working. It's only a 10 minutes of work to get a fucking thumbnail on YouTube. Right. You hear that? Ten minutes of work. That was not work, Phil. And it shouldn't have to take anyone ten minutes to do something so easy that I can do in, like, one or two minutes. Not even one or two minutes. Like, these are things normal people do every fucking day for in, like, less than a minute. This is not that hard. All right. So it says it's happening. Helldivers 2 premiere. And you're right, yeah, Clip. This is stuff that people usually will do too, off stream, not too. on stream, wasting everyone's goddamn time here. for it. Uh, there it is. No, that's work, Roderick. You don't know that? Like, uh, grabbing a picture no from somewhere else okay. on you online Say. <laughs> for a thumbnail is apparently all right, fucking so now work. All the stream data for tonight has been changed, okay? I know, right? Like I actually like put some kind of effort into most of my thumbnails. Like I like if it's just a stream, I usually just repeat one of my older thumbnails. But I actually like open up Photoshop and like put his face on stuff and we all do it. Like most attractors do that. And they would blow his shitty ass thumbnails out of the water. The only time I don't do that is if I'm just like playing a game cuz it's, it's rare when I record myself playing a game so it's like i'll just post uh the title card or something because i don't really care because it's a gameplay video you know but jesus christ so now everyone will know that tonight i'm playing hell divers 2 if they look at the channel but now i need to post obviously an update oh my god why are you doing this on stream so aware of this big change this is his podcast by the way it's not even a priest i mean it's not a podcast but he's calling this a fucking podcast and he's like not talking to the audience while he does this or anything like that he is literally just like wasting his audience's fucking times okay so wait i thought he had like one of his fans make him thumbnails huge announcement oh my god shut the fuck up phil Uh, let me see really quick. Yeah, it's just random ass YouTube thing and someone puts a title on someone puts a text over top of it and that's about it, huh? Like, I mean, this is lazy as fucking ugly too, but at least they're attempting something, but it's not very good. And look at look at this fat motherfucker. Like how are these thumbnails suck ass. 
And then these he doesn't give a shit about, so he just picks a random ass fucking lets you two pick it. Jesus. We just decided live on the stream or on the podcast that tonight's late stream is yeah, not slow news day. Dragon's <laughs> Dog Two. Oh my god. I said Dragon's Dog Man too. He he's one of those pe he's one of these fucking boomers who like probably types with his pink uh with his index fingers because he can't actually like touch type. So he'll type with his fucking index fingers like tick 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 tick. And he can't actually think in his head. So he can't actually think and type without talking it out. Uh so we're playing uh not Dragon's Dogma 2, but um we are playing uh the like you know what I mean? It's it's so bad. Like how have you but been doing instead, this for fifteen years, I'm my guy, and you're out. still this Hell fucking Diver bad about it? For the first this time. is insane. Join me at 6 45 p.m pdt for the hilarity and first impressions live there you go exactly okay. he has to look at every single key to figure out where it is copy there we go <laughs> that's now on on twitter let me post that on my channel so uh, are for my book report i read The Giver, and The Giver is a story about an old guy. And... There you go. So, I'm I don't actually remember what the book was about. Let's see if this truly works or not. I hope it does. I hope that it's playable. I hope that it's fun. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm trusting you guys. And we're giving it a shot tonight. Yeah, his okay. setup is all kinds of well, fucked up, Flip. It makes no idea. sense. So, okay, good. Like, Let's give he this types a shot. on one side. Let's he has to crank goes. his neck like... <laughs> 180 right. degrees to the other out. side to again, look at the this monitor. This is directly based on your feedback. This is directly based on what I'm seeing on the stream. Play RPG. It makes no sense. And fail. Play literally any other fucking game. People get excited. So I think it's time. It's time for a change. And again, not saying that there will never be RPGs again. Shay, it's time for a change. Game. As the in, do you guys have any change you can give me? All coming change. Out at the same time. I'm my foot down at this point and saying, no you got mas. change. No mas. No quiero RPG. No más. <laughs> okay. Lady Christmas. There was this one book that I had to read in school for book report, but I never remember the fucking name of it. And it always pisses me off because I can never remember the name of it. But it was about uh, the Scopes Monkey Trial, and it was actually really good. I always liked that book growing up, but I can't ever remember the name of it. It says it's just like the endless Call of Duty clone FPSs in the late 2000s. Way too many, even if you enjoy them. Oh, Hell, we'll get into the Helldivers clip. Three it's after this listen. one. You have to understand that I am stubborn. And I, I like I keep telling you guys, I love I love RPGs. I do. No, you don't. I, I love you them. clearly I don't love I RPGs, like Phil. Them. And I want to play them, but it's it's just they don't catch on that well. You know, the Baldur's Gate 3 was the one example where people wanted to see me get through this because it meant so much to them that you had a crowd that were willing to come out. Oh, you always lie. That's an anomaly. Like a Dragon was the opposite. Very rarely did we get good attendance or support. But you like still that. finished Like a Dragon, but you refused to finish Final Fantasy Rebirth. And now you're casting aside Dragon's Dogma 2. Which, I mean, you should cast aside Dragon's but Dogma 2, because like, I don't really think anyone cares game, about that one. But I just can't keep playing them over and over and over. I can't. I have to do something different. So it's time to do something different. Okay? In truth, I, I, I again, I'm not sold that Helldivers 2 is going to work, but since you guys have asked for it enough, I want to try it. You know what I mean? Um... I don't know though. I'm not convinced it's gonna work for my style. And no, I'm not changing my style of content to. to oh, were you restreaming? You mean, or were you catching up on stuff? People. That's just not me. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so I guess we got to see how it goes, right? We got to see how it goes, and uh, and go from there. All right. Okay. So 
I hope that was a I have a lot of respect for people who are going to actually restream him raw because I don't have the patience for that shit. Again, and trying out Helldivers 2 and at this point kind of dropping RPGs because I've had enough. Yeah, all right, Drake, share your link in chat. No, I'm not saying. I don't know if I'm actually following you or not. RPGs ever again. I'm just saying. Chill yourself. No one cares about them right now. <laughs> and I don't blame you for not caring about them right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I got this a lot like, to catch up this on. This is exactly what it is. You're, it's another food analogy. You're sitting at a table, and someone brings you a delicious... If I got too glazed, I wouldn't be able to talk, and I'd be like, oh, it's amazing. in bed, it's delicious. So twitching. Good. Then someone immediately <laughs> puts down another delicious plate of pasta. Okay. Oh, God. Right. He's doing amazing. another fucking now, food analogy thing. Another plate of pasta in front of you, but then next to you, they put... A yeah, I am too. Stuff. Like, Dragon's Dogma mm -hmm. 2 looks like well, garbage, and I don't really know... Like, I'm sure... There's a really it's a, good looking roast duck. I mean, let's be honest. DSP has always made every game look garbage anyway, but even, like, watching other people play it, it's just not really much of an interest. Fuck right there. Should I eat the pasta? Or should I have the Yeah, I can't, I can't watch him play just decision. actual so gameplay. Here, I, I want to see, like, the down. drama That's segments. Amazing. I want to see him bitching about know, stupid uh, shit. I don't really a, care a, about a, his a gameplay at all. Or something, right? Or barbecue food over here, right? And it's like, do you want to keep eating the pasta? You already had it twice. Do you want to keep eating that pasta, or you're going to go and reach for the other Well, he now, can't. he makes right? every game look like shit anyway. I'm tired of the shit. And I don't, I don't disagree with that at all. I agree with you that I'm still playing Final months. Fantasy VII now Rebirth, and since December. I still am in Baldur's Gate 3, too. Along with a bunch of other RPGs, but... <laughs> all right, let's see... Oh, wait, nope, that wasn't the right one. Here we go. Let's see Phil die Let me tell you something, brother. in Helldivers 2. In YouTube, Roderick? I think I'm following you. Already, but I'm not quite sure. All right. Oh shit! That guy landed on his ass. <laughs> you saw that? You took a tumble. Let's play. Affirmative. What are you doing? Why is he shooting? Ah. Oh, uh, he's shooting me. He just killed me. <laughs> why did he do that? Why did he shoot me? I don't get it. What was the point of that? <laughs> why did he kill me? Why did he kill me? I don't get it. You were supposed to be in my team. This is some bullshit. Wait, so he's spawn camping? <laughs> Why did he kill me again? Point me to the enemy. Why is he doing this? Like, what's the point? What's the point of doing this? It's just oh my crazy. gosh, this is great. <laughs> right? Like, why would you? Do why that? are you this killing me? We're supposed to be on the same team. Ah, uh, this is World of Warcraft all over again, isn't it? <laughs> and now he's gonna die from the bugs this time. Run away! Did he quit? Did no, he he's right the there. S3. He's right... You rock your right? right into him. <laughs> man, that wow! Yeah, the the World of Warcraft play. Oh man, that was he so died, fucking good. And no one summoned him back. Oh. No, I think he's right there. Isn't he S three? Why am I dying? You still haven't told me. Oh, dead. Reinforcing. <laughs> to the front. Map. Uh, 
Is he still in the game? If he's still in the game, he's gonna keep doing it. I might as well just quit, right? And you didn't even warp into the. Oh no! Yeah, run away! <laughs> he's obviously trying not to like. This is give... the game you guys wanted me to play. He's this obviously trying not to give the okay. trolls satisfaction of fun. reacting to it. But what was the point of that? Right? I thought it was funny. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm a, I'm a total loss. Yeah, play with viewers, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> you tell me what that accomplished. Managed democracy calls for aid. Okay. I may as well quit. I don't know what else to do. I don't know. You guys wanted me to play this, though. It's all your fault. Well, let me tell you something. And I think after this, I'm probably going to head out because it's getting kind of late here. Will Smith's music was banned in the Empire? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. What's going on with the camera? Why is it shaking like that? Jesus. Excuse me. Oh, God. He's wearing this stupid-ass Bender hat. Would you guys say that Will Smith was a legitimate artist, or does he fall into the realm of celebrity artists? Oh, was he? Like Drake. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think Will Smith was a legit good? I'm sure it made music? it to the uh only buy his music because it was like, oh cool, like a end of actor. what does he call that he fucking the wrap up thing? I'm sure it made yeah, it into that. Hits, I feel you, you can count him as bull. Yeah, but what about J Lo? J Lo was exactly the same. I'll be honest, I don't think J Lo's songs were good at all. But she had like number one hits just because again, the novelty of being an actor and then trying to make music. Right? Hey, but no problem, Clip. Thank you guys for showing up. I, like, J Lo or Will Smith, that's like a standout. Oh my god. Honestly, so as far as I got anyone watching me uh tonight, yeah, it's kinda late. Me. And it was last minute. I didn't have it planned. I just kinda felt like streaming. Oh my god. Not like anyone's actually taking his like musical opinion seriously anyway, because like what is this? He doesn't listen to music. We all know he doesn't listen to music. He said so before. So why should we Take your word on any of your music the opinions, Roblox? though. Jenny from the Roblox. You really believe that she was from the block? <laughs> you even know what that means? <clears throat> Philip. Well, that was terrible. I had two and six. See that? I start insulting singing talent, and then I get. Right, Drake. You should go to bed happens. too. <laughs> That's what happens with bad karma. Ugh. Bad karma, like, what? Jiggy with it, men in black, parents just don't understand, and just the two of us. Yeah, but I, what I'd like you to do is listen to all of Will Smith's songs next to each other and realize they're all the same. This songs. is from the guy who's like the they're most tone deaf tempo. motherfucker I've ever heard. The like, I don't want to hear him talking about tone when he can't even recognize tone or how bad he's I mean, singing too, himself. He actually song, thinks. That when he sings, over over. it sounds good. Like he doesn't sound good because he's tone deaf. Almost exactly the same. Ow. Ryan did a super chase. He said, Get in jiggy with it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get in jiggy with the wild, wild west. And I roll into the wild. That's wild a west. different tone. I stroll into the party in the city where the heat is on all night on the beach to the break. And no one likes that song like anyway. Me. It's all the same song. It's literally all the same song. God, the Wild Wild West was such a song. shitty movie. It's just the same exact tempo and everything. It's Not just, really. And you don't recognize lyrics. tempo anyway. Shut up. I sang the same song and it, with three different lyrics. And it's three of his songs. Why, Jake? Was it weed or was it something else? <laughs> same thing with Men in Black. Here took. come the Men in Black. Galaxy to Wild Wild West. And I roll into the wild, wild west. That's a different tempo, though. In the city where the heat is on and You're misrepresenting it. It's the same tempo. Literally, every song is the same tempo. Literally, it's not. In history. He doesn't even know how to rap. He just sings these lyrics to the Do tempo. it a lot better than you do, <laughs> Phil. And I bet you Phil actually believes that he's be uh, good, better. <laughs> Thank you, Clip. I appreciate that. Anyway, I like the chill. Anyway, says, uh, and then he wants to keep Kobe. going at it. God, this game looks like garbage. 
wild wild west and we roll into the wild wild west because we stroll into the there's a lot of glitches and i'm not talking about the original games the original games played fine it's just a remaster with a wild wild west it's the same fucking song sounds exactly the same all night long oh okay <laughs> <clears throat> well, every time I I say something, I don't know. Whenever I try, happen, whenever I try to I smoke weed, I don't really horrible. feel anything. What is going and when on I take that? edibles, I feel it too much. <laughs> All the same song. To the point where I can't even get up Miami off my couch. I'm just kind of stuck there. And men in black, right? I think he was. He probably drinks a lot more than we realize. He's constantly. Like, that's my Another secret. I'm song. always well, drunk. This is the story upside down about how someone was acting like a clown and he got punched in the face. And that's not how that goes at all, first said, of all. You got a big fat butt. All right, I don't know the song. I just know the Clearly. Song. <laughs> I just know the tune of it. I don't know the lyrics to the song. Uh, what is your music taste, actually? What he doesn't music have taste? music I mean, taste. Have music taste, honestly, anymore. See, uh, he admits mean, he doesn't mean, have music taste. Like so nine. shut the fuck up since you clearly don't know what the hell you're talking about. Rock, but I don't really listen to music anymore. <laughs> and you Man. see what the long term... You watch DSP and you watch King Cobra and you see the effects of too much drinking on the brain. You become a smooth brain. Yes, of course. I received a $3 tip. From Dona, make, don't wait. Will Smith says, "Do not make me slap your name, your name out of your way. Do not make me slap your name out." Of He's your clearly mouth. drunk. He can't even time. fucking read. Eh? What the fuck does that mean? Well, thanks for the three dollars. It's a reference to the fucking Academy Awards thing that you fucking clout treated on fucking Twitter, dumbass. Tip, I, that was a really bad grammar attempt at making a joke, and it kind of missed the mark. Well, he used to be a uh, blob on the love seat. Now he's well, this is the has story. a chair growing all out his backside. About how Will Smith made the same damn song. They all sound the same, have the same tempo, but everyone wet and bottom end. You go. He got nice and rich and really fat, and now he gets. And it all comes down to money, isn't it? He's just jealous. That's all this is. Uh, he's just fucking uh, jealous. <laughs> I don't know. You better watch what you say or I'll punch you in the face, slap you around like a big disgrace. Yeah, you can always rely on Phil to be boring as fuck and annoying as fuck. And he'll take you to the wild, wild west. He'll stroll into the wild, wild With the west. really bad fucking takes. Because literally every single take and opinion he has is like the wrong one. He's rarely correct in anything. Because I swear he has op oppositional defiant disorder. about to get jiggy with it. And that's what happened. So, <laughs> someone said, "What? What would? What if Will Smith made a credit song for I Am Legend?" Let's see. Let's yeah, see. I th yeah. Peace just suffering quite a bit through this one, I believe. Well, this is the story about me and my dog. We thought that there were zombies, but there's vampires, dog. That's, no, I said dog twice. It doesn't work. What? <laughs> I said dog twice. You can't say dog twice. That's not rapping. This is what he. This is what he thinks rapping is, by the way. Jesus Christ. All right, I think I'm going to go. <laughs> uh, huh? No, I was talking about Piece of Peace when, uh, when Piece of Peace watched that whole restream that. And he was suffering a lot through that. <laughs> Which I don't blame him because, Jesus Christ, he's just so bad. Yep, it's time bad. It's time bad, everyone, now that it's, the sun's coming out and everything, so. Good night, everyone. Thank you for being here. Thank you for staying up late with me. Yeah, hopefully he gets into DSP politics because you know he's going to fence it so fucking hard on that shit. It's going to be hilarious. So hopefully he does. And then he'll probably get real heat from actual political streamers. <laughs> he might even be chased out of it. I don't know, but it'll be fucking bad and hilarious and sad at the same time. But good night, everyone. Have a good one.